Jesus Christ. I look so fat leaning back like this. Uh, you do too, but. <laughs> You, you piece of human I, fecal matter. I was saving that energy for the over. Fuck you. Welcome to the Disney podcast. No, 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 no. My name is This is my friend. We were gone for two months. Why? Because our lives are kind of shit. <laughs> Fuck me, completely honest. Two of my cats died. Dude, you, you think it's appropriate to just drop that out of the blue like that? You said they're a shit. People are gonna wonder what how they're a shit. Or are they gotta, really that shit? Yeah, two of my cats died. You get a, you get ease into things. I'm not sharing my personal shit, but he can, I guess. But dude should hear his personal shit. Oh I don't want to. It took me months to to recover from it. I'm only just just feeling better with some help from it. A lot of help from him. A lot of help from him. But like, yeah, I'm better though. If anyone cares, they probably don't. I'm better than He's I was. Not. Better. I'm better than I was before. I'm like, that's debatable. No, that's not debatable. I am mentally. It's a better. little bit debatable. No, it's not very debatable. I am actually in a very much better mental state than I was before. My face hair works a lot better, and my mustache is bigger. Yeah, actually. But like, also not like bigger mustache, but, but on top still, of a not that yeah. big beard. That that is a that, you know yeah that's a good look, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Are you okay tonight? No, no. <laughs> so tired. This is him being better. <laughs> what? I can't have a little fun. Huh? Are you having a little fun? I have a little fun. I'm being a little. Okay. I'm being feel a little bit sweet, boy. A little, a little sweet. You know a little sweet I almost boy. instinctively reached over for that gun again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Put my drink down and was like, I want to. You need to stop. I want to play if with you, my if you toys. If I see you like grab that and I'm going to bring it to frame, I'll It makes no. anyone out there oh who's at all interested in either guns or airsoft or fidget toys, any of those three <laughs> No, not the fidget toys. That's I, what it's I, here for. I don't. I'm not gonna recommend someone get a fucking gun for a fidget it's toy. It's not okay. okay. What the airsoft, fuck is wrong airsoft, with you? Airsoft gun. It doesn't matter. Not a real gun. Listen, just anyone out there. If if you've oh, ever been shit. genuinely kind of interested in guns, but maybe you're too much of a pussy to get a real one. And, or maybe you're into Too much guns. of a pussy to get yeah, it. Yeah, may, maybe you live in a t- terrible piece of shit state like California and what don't they, can't What if get they just don't want guns? What if they support the gun system but just don't want to go on a gun themselves? If you have the right to do that, it doesn't make you pussy. Yeah, you have the right to do that. Just, if you don't want to own a gun, it just says something about you. I, I think no. No. It's kind of like not wanting to own a, a, a house. No, no, Alex. According to the Constitution, it's pretty similar, actually. Rights to liberty and property. Well, no, I, no, not fucking laws or Constitution. I think morally and ethically, I think those are vastly different. <laughs> okay, mean, hold on. Hold on. I was kind of joking, but no, morally and ethically, they are no different. I... No, okay, okay hold, well, on, hold on, hold on, I know, hold on, hold on, hold on. In terms of moral and ethics, houses are not different. We're not doing this on the podcast. We can have a separate conversation between us. We're not doing this here. We're not doing this here. I'm not going to have an ethical conversation with you as to whether houses and guns are the same. I'm not going I to I didn't say they're the same. Or if they're more... I said they have similar or equatable ethical Okay, values. I don't care. I'm not going to have this conversation with you on the podcast. This is a conversation I'm okay with having after the... Why? 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 He claimed he wasn't going to yell at all this whole podcast. <laughs> of Already. course I was Already. lying. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Because I'm not uh-huh. going to waste my... Why would I waste my energy on fucking test? Why would I waste my energy on a so test? So that we can moderate the game into a reasonable spot for the fucking yelling. That's what I can do on fucking post-edit because I do this shit on post-edit. 
I fixed this shit! You could reduce the workload that you have later by planning. I don't... Don't do that! <laughs> what? Stop! <laughs> Drink... No, Diet no. cranberry juice? The way you're fucking doing it is disgusting. My wino's out in the audience. So it's <laughs> no, I, I know you want to do the fucking little... Oh, you're going to let it breathe. Oh, go, what? Stop. Stop it. Hey, at least I'm restraining people put, myself. People... Um, at least I'm not swishing it back and forth in my... You First of all, you do that. I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> Second of all, people put their earbuds into this. Stop. <laughs> Some free ASMR right there. No one wants that. Cranberry ASMR. Especially not from a bald man like you. Hey, how's um how's the system do with knives? No, no weapons. Like gen- genuinely, like no, Damn. no weapons. Unless it's like that sucks. It's it's actually truly like hard to have. So I shouldn't get any of my sword. No. Like I had to fucking work around you bringing it out the last time. Okay, mom. <laughs> what was that about not fucking reduce fucking not reducing the workload for me? That's a lot. I can I I do this on a daily basis with my own shit, so I know I have systems in place to monitor and do the shit. It's like three, four clicks of a button. That actually takes like fucking twenty minutes. Let's <laughs> do you fucking asshole. I put your fucking hands back. I don't need this shit from you, okay? If you're gonna start if you're gonna start working on this fucking podcast with me and actually putting up a lot for content, I need you oh, daddy, to actually that'd be harder. <laughs> what you talking about today? What what you talking about today, bro? What you what you what you uh, you want, bro? Let's get into it before I get mad at you. Well, it's a catch up episode, right? So what have you been watching? We're reading. Oh yeah, our We're playing. Oh yeah, our first segment we do is just gonna be the whole podcast. Um, well, I guess we should keep it anime related for the first half. So as much as we can, yeah, I guess. Oh, I finished. Uh, why? Oh yeah, I love that one. Uh, 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 it's no. a great one. Yeah. <laughs> just fantastic. <laughs> no, um. Uh, Nagatoro season two. Oh, what the fuck? Nagatoro. Nagatoro. Why does it sound familiar? It's the bully one, the, the manga that you read. That the manga came, I read. That came out with an anime that you read. Nagatoro. Oh, the one made by the the hentai guy. Is it? Does he? Yeah, he, he's a hentai artist. Yeah. The the full art. The yeah. Full, I think the full name of it is don't like toy, don't don't uh, toy don't. with me or don't bully me. Nagatoro. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's a hentai artist. I, Why do you think he draws like that, dude? Like what? I don't. I've. I guess he's not drawing the anime, so I don't really know what you mean. Oh, like, you've been watching that reading now. Okay. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Wow. Well, I haven't been reading <laughs> it. I don't know. I've not I know watched it, like, it much of it yet, but um. I thought you watched season one. I started season one. I never finished it. Oh. Yeah, like halfway through. I. They were still coming out, so I got distracted by other stuff. Fair. Oh, oh, I like it so far. It's been. Pit. <laughs> what was that? Oh. Here's your book. Oh, it's a book. Oh, it's my advanced reader copy of Fourth Wing, Fly or Die. Did you plan this? By Rebecca Yarrow. Did you plan this? Anyway. Um, Currently, no. selling better than any of my other books in my bookstore. Oh. Though not in the actual top ten sellers for the North California... Uh, independent bookstore league. Um, so, it is the number so, eleven best so, seller and the best so, seller in my store. So, so anime. By. So anime. Copperfield books. Anime. Ghost. The anime. Anime. Uh, fine. It's manga related. It's a bookstore. It's the bookstore I work at. Did you not talk about the manga? You realize I've never been able to put up the bookstore I work at on this thing. Why would you want to tell people where you work? To promote the place I work. You don't talk... Oh, dude, that's like rule one of the internet. Fine, how about this? I will tell you which Copperfield's books I work at. Oh, my fucking... Copperfield's books in Northern California. We're just in Northern California. Like, we're from, like, Napa I'm Valley not, all the I'm way not, down I'm to, not gonna, like, I'm not gonna lie. County. I'm not gonna lie. Just to help you out, and I might either censor or cut this out. You're not supposed to tell people where you work, bro. We know we've actually told them where we lived before, right? I can deal with them where I live. I can, If someone wants to pull up to me, I can I deal with them. I'm 100% okay. 
with I'm everyone not okay knowing with where I work. You madman. Come visit me at the bookstore. None of you ever will. Because we barely have any viewers anyways. What, but, if they, what if they do that? What if we blow up some... What if we blow up one day and then... That'd like, be rad. That'd be rad. He will came visit me at the bookstore. I'd be like, hey, would you like to buy manga while you're here? But then you'll get... I've trolls. been working on increasing our manga section for the past couple of years. We finally have light novels. You have too much faith in people. Listen, if it's it's the shit side, I'm quitting in a couple months anyways when I go back to school full time. So who cares? Right. I have like a month and a half left there. Realize I have to like quit by like August 11th or something. All right, all right, I guess. I guess if you're early, it doesn't matter as much. Yeah. Manga, no, anime, Nagatoro. I liked it. Um, it it's cute. Yeah, it like. Has she gone up to the martial arts stuff yet? Yeah, yeah. Okay, they actually just yeah, we actually just that. The you you read a lot of it, so I assume none of this is gonna be spoiler stuff for you. Probably not. Yeah, I've read a bunch of it. The second season ended. I actually like the I actually like the progression where it went, where it's like there's still stuff to work with, but it does feel like we're moving towards something. Um, they did the little aquarium date thing. Oh yeah. And then they had like their like their hug, and I'm just like, you know, well it's it's like it feels like a huge step. Like in in reality, it's not like the biggest step, but the anime makes it feel like a big yeah. step. So I, I I like actually I actually appreciate that they do a lot of work to make it feel like it's a big step and I like it. It's good. Cool. Also, side characters are cool too. The side characters are middling, but they're all right. I think they're fine. They're they're, they're not right. super enhancing the story, but they're not hurting it either. Sure. I think they're, uh, I think no, so. I just don't think that you're actually helping a story unless you're actually helping the story. They don't do anything to really add to it. They're like a uh, filler. They're uh, there. Don't know they to... probably benefit it overall, but they're not actively aiding in its progress. So most of them are just there to fill the other fetishes for the porn. So big boobs, even smaller boobs, the medium awesome. boobs. The thing I wanted that's to... that's really the side characters is big, medium, and small breasts. Also, the thing I wanted that was the side character. The thing I wanted to uh. No, I've been denying it. The thing I wanted to bring up. Well, fucking like cause that's all anime. That, that, like that's what, what 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 do you want me to do? Like legitimately, like what do you want me to say? What do you want me to do? I don't know. Oh no, bro! I was not fucking like. I don't know. That's the artist. I don't know if that was the artist's purpose to do that, but I can believe it. <laughs> it's anime. Believe it. Um. Yeah, believe it. I know what you're referencing. Um, oh yeah, the thing I wanted to bring it to you. So, can you, you feel no. my heartbeat? Oh, that. Okay. What the um, fuck did you think I was? Like, what? I don't know. I was, just, I was just ready for you to say something stupid. Tired of feeling, never enough. <laughs> um, no, you know what? You know, like the the data archetypes, right? The what? The dead air octaves? You're American. Don't try and pronounce something with a rolled R if you're not going to roll the R. It's not dead A. It's dare as far as we're concerned. Dere. We're English-speaking Americans. We say dare not dead A, not dead A, not dare <laughs> not dare we, we don't say fucking shit. We say dare we basically just say dairy like a cow. Dairy cow. It's dairy. Yeah, but you also have to remember I didn't grow up in an American household, therefore I'm going to say dairy. <laughs> You're American. I didn't I grow up in an American household. I sure as hell wasn't I, raised American. Under your logic, I wasn't raised American either. How so? I was raised by Scottish immigrants, dude. You know what? That's true. So I guess you were raised Scottish. Hear that? I wear a kilt for a reason. Pass me my kilt. No. <laughs> I'm just going to put it right on. No. Ah, no one wants to I take that. the jeans off and I'll put the kilt on. Maybe if we take a break, you can't, but I'm not. I'm not. Pass me either kilt. No. The plaid one works a little bit better. No. I mean, the, yes, but no. But, um. Okay. The. You, but you, so you know what I'm talking about, though, right? Yeah, I know the dairies. Okay. Soon dairy, dairy, dairy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soon dairy. Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all that shit. I the, probably don't. I'm not intimately familiar with each. Of the archetypes' names, but I'm intimately familiar with like the five most popular ones, and I get the concept of them. 
and could probably describe the ones I don't know the term for. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because they're clearly archetypes used throughout just tons of anime. Yeah. They are lazy Here. archetypes oh my that they use to narrow, narrowly defined characters that should be more broadly expressed. They limit the possibilities because fucking shonen authors are lazy and soju authors are lazy too. You're so mean. <laughs> Anyways. Because people who write manga and anime kind of blow chunks at writing characters half the time. More than half the time. 90%, 80%. 70% of the time. That'd be you, nice. You're done. You're done with your tirade. You're, you're done with your triad. <laughs> my triad. Uh, um, I'm done with my dark triad. Um, what what archetype would you would you consider Nagato Is there a pervert dairy? Is, is there would that be hentai dairy? No. There is a it, I, there is a dare for that. I just don't remember. Would it be hentai? Just like hentai? No, 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 no. It, yeah. it, it, it's hentai else. is the word for pervert, right? Huh? Hentai is also the word for pervert in Japanese, right? Yes. But yeah. they call it something else. Okay. Yeah. It's, 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 um, she's not explicitly a sundere. No. A sundere is usually are, are more colder than the way she is. I promise you, you'll never get it. I probably don't know the term. I could describe... I think I could describe the... Well, yeah, of course. I, because the description of the archetype would just be the a description of her character. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, what What's it called? Hayasadere. Repeat? The Hayasadere. What's that mean? A tease? Basically, a lighthearted tease. Mm-hmm. I have a problem with this, though. I don't know what exactly it means, but I know that Hayase is the na- is the first name of the character Nakatora. So it's on the nose, yeah. Well, my pro- my problem is that all the all the other all the other deities have like mm-hmm. like the like the dairy part. I think you're thinking in reverse. I think what you're about to say is you're afraid this dairy is named after her, but you're wrong. She's probably named after the archetype. Think about it. The author is a hentai artist. He's probably explicitly naming the character after the archetype of the character. It's most likely not the other way around. We could look it up, though. I don't. I, I was. We just, have to use your I, phone. My no, phone's. Using I was just, just thinking that, but I'm like, I'm so tired of looking. Look, not. I'm tired of looking up, man. But it's, you know, I I'm gonna have to go over and type on my fucking. Well, computer. no, okay, no. I'm not saying I don't want to. It's just like. But I have three monitors. If it's not look, for one of the look, big listen, research. that's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. Just like we should, we should probably start like, unless it's super, super important. It's not super, super important that we look this up. But, but it's okay. In this case, this is what the podcast is about, right? It's about us exploring ideas together, right? Okay. How can we explore the ideas if we're not even willing to look up things that we're interested in and that the audience probably wants to know too? If we the can discover we it and share that discovery with others, why wouldn't we be doing that? The problem is is that... That takes an extra five seconds? No, we could have already done su- it by now instead of just talking about we're it. We're super quiet. Okay, fine. We're super quiet when we... Do you notice that? We're super quiet when we, we search up stuff. Because we're so focused. Guess right. what? Then all we have to do is be louder. Hey, yo, yo, Isaiah, what the fuck is the definition of how you say, Dere? That was terrible. <laughs> that was... Listen, you said louder. How was louder? Are you uh, sure I can't fidget with my gun all No, you cannot fidget with your goddamn... Just the magazines? No. Maybe I can load a magazine. No. No. You're not doing that. I close my eyes. Tell myself that my dreams will come true. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot how to spell. There'll be no more darkness. Well, okay, while I'm on believe. while I'm on this page, do you want me to list you off all the type of days? Shh. Only think I'm with a description. <laughs> you want me to read the description? Fuck it, we need a full time fight. <laughs> so Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine, we'll make this into a game. I'll tell you what the dead end name is, you give me the description, we'll see how close it is. Ooh, okay. Okay. So the first one we have is a dare. I get like three of them. The first one we have. No, you'll get like maybe four or five. 
Because there's some that are like really on the nose. Okay. I know that. Okay. So one is a dere dere. Yeah, yeah. sweet, sweet. Because okay. dairy means sweet, right? They're all blank sweet because the idea is that they're all sweethearts. No, that is love struck. I think. Nah, I think. It's I sweet. think they. Ex- I bet you it's sweet. Did they explain what? Hold on. Now I gotta fucking look up what dairy is. What Best is. dairy, dairy. Go. There's only one choice, dude. Hold on. Come on. From Atla, you know it. It's Tylee. Tylee is the best dairy dairy of all time. Kind, lovable, or in love. So, so sweet. Yeah, so sweet. Yeah, okay. sweet. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Literally sweet. That's, wait. Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, it's just sweet. Yeah. Because you're sweet on your, when you're in love with something. Yeah, pretty much. You, you, yeah, you are know. kind and lovable when you're sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. Yeah, it's yeah. Short, no, 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 it's yeah, no, sweet. Right. yeah. So I said, yeah, you're right. No, you're right. Yeah, awesome, um, awesome. I can't, I can't think of it. I, I should because it's, it's probably while well, it's not the most popular, it is the most generic. Dairy, <laughs> dairy. I don't think it is the most generic. Are you sure about no, that? It, there are so few dairy dairies. Are you sure about that? Yeah, because in almost every single anime, the twist is that the dairy dairy isn't a dairy dairy. It's actually one of the other dairies in disguise. Most typically a Sundari or like whatever the fucking villain dairy is. But the, the, it's almost never a true dairy dairy. The, it's why the only good example I can think of with any consistency is Ty Lee from Avatar The Last Airbender. Is she? Yeah. Is she a dairy? I don't she's know. She's literally nothing but sweet all the time. Does she be mean sometimes? No. She's never once mean. Even when she portrays Azula, she's doing it in the kindest way possible and also saying sorry and also turning herself in to be a prisoner afterwards. Like, she's literally the sweetest person of all time. Okay, maybe I'm just thinking... Even when she's, like, pretending to be... uh, like Even when she's being a double agent, she's still doing it sweetly. Okay, maybe I'm just, like, thinking because I remember her kicking a lot of ass and breaking a lot of bones. She does kick a lot of ass. She doesn't break any bones. I remember her being, like... Her entire thing is that it's, like, non-violent violence. She... She blocks... She oh, that's break right. Bones. She, yeah, okay. she 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 blocks blood flow and chi, so right, you're, you're, that, you're that incapacitated that, without being hurt. Right, because there's that there's that funny uh, scene where she's fighting. Um, mm-hmm. Why am I looking at these names? Saka. Saka. There we go. I'm so. Oh my Ink. lord. Oh my Ink. lord. I don't know why I forgot her name. So some, you know what? It's because it's so close. It's not. <laughs> I was gonna say Sokka is close to Sosuke, but it's not. But they. Very- I thought you were at least gonna say Sokka is close to Zuko. I was like, okay, I can't get that. But no, you said Sasuke. No, no, Sosuke. 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 Who the hell, is Sosuke? Eisen from Bleach. <laughs> Sasuke. At the bio, anyways. Um, yeah, I guess she'd be the best example of a day today. Yeah. My favorite. Yeah. Yeah. You, the Dere is a very energetic kind and Wait, who's your favorite? We should also go through our I can't, I, I can't think of one, dude. I genuinely can't. There gotta be some in the anime. I, I can, I, you know what? I can. No, 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 no. I can't, no, I can't, no I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I don't, I can't think of a Dere Dere I like. At least choose Ty Lee then, man. Fine. Ty Lee. She is, she, if, if anything, she would be up there. At least, like, top three. Well, now she's one she's so cute. She's so sweet. She's, she's just the best. She's a sweetheart. Yeah. Okay. The Dere Dere is a very energetic, kind, and caring towards others. Out of all the personality types, they are the most stable and tend to be the main character. While they show their affection towards a loved one... Oh, right. That's why. Because normally it's the boy. That's why we can't think of any girls. Wow. Because the main wow. <laughs> Like, Naruto is, is a that- Dere Dere. Oh my god, no, no, yeah, yeah Naruto is just, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Naruto. <laughs> no, take that fucking back. Okay, I fine. regret pointing it out to you. Fuck okay, you. Okay, fine. No. Okay, fine, Goku. I'll accept that. Uh, what the f- <laughs> Wait, so you'll accept Goku, but not Naruto? Yeah. Why? Uh, Naruto's too stupid. He's not stupid. He's naive. There's a difference. No. <laughs> no he a is difference. stupid. No, he's not stupid. Yeah, he is no, stupid. Luffy is stupid. 
Luffy is um, bordering on brain dead. Yes, I will agree with that. Naruto isn't stupid. Naruto's no, stupid. I, no, I will. No, Naruto's not stupid. I will defend this. Naruto's stupid. Um, I mean, to be fair, to be fair, the second dumbest character, the second dumbest main character in all the anime, is probably who you actually named. Goku. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Goku. Um, but he's also just a really sweet dude. He's Goku? a nice guy. Yeah. No, he is a good guy. So yeah. is Naruto, though. Uh, no, Naruto's a little bit of a shit. When he's younger, sure, but there's reason behind it. Everyone acts mm-hmm. like a shit, like when they're neglected on that fucking type of level. No. You you're telling me that when kid that sometimes kids won't act out in order to get attention. No, I didn't say that. You said every kid. Okay. Is a shit uh, when they're that. Okay. No. Okay. Not every, no, 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 no. every okay. kid who's okay. 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 Uh, 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 okay. You don't do you don't do, go ahead and do that. And then, okay. Fine. I I I can see that not. Not every kid is to shit when they're fucking young. But when kids are neglected to a certain level, sometimes they will act out. I think that's a perfect... Sure, thing. is that an excuse? Huh? Is that an appropriate excuse to no, act out? No, no, but he gets better. So he gets better. He gets he's better. 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 Hold on, he gets better, like, oh, he's very because quickly. Because he gets better, it's an excuse to, to hear his little shit? No, but people can change. That means, sure, doesn't mean you hold can it, change. It doesn't mean you hold it against him. It's like, he's, yeah, all, he's only a little shit for, like... Sure. You know he's an oh. absentee father, but whatever. I'm, listen, I'm not. De- I'm not defending that. <laughs> listen, he's, he's, he I'm remains not, being a shit up I'm until not. his okay. I'm not the def- end of his career. So I'm not what he remains being a bit of a shit until the end of his career. No, he doesn't. Absentee father. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's a okay. Shit. You you you're getting towards like the beginnings and being a Hokage is not an excuse to be an absentee father. I'm not saying that, but you, dude, you're like don't re- bring those hold kids on, in the world. You're just gonna let them sit there you're and get remo- beat up by You are for removing week. all of like Shippuden, which he's not a well, shit. To be that. fair, I haven't seen Shippuden, have I? Have you not seen Shippuden? No, nah, I stopped at the end of Naruto. Oh, okay. Naruto's better though. Work okay, everyone out. OG Naruto sucks. We're, we're gonna move on. We're it's gonna move bad. on. We are gonna move on. It has almost on. nothing truly on. redeeming we're gonna about on. it. We're gonna, we're gonna and Bardo's better on. so far. We're gonna we're gonna move on. Wait, so you started watching Boruto without watching Shippu- Where were we? I'm not gonna do not that. on purpose. Well, what, what, I'm not doing this to you. I'm not doing I this to you. I'm not. Hey, no. I, 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 don't, I don't. I don't care if you. I don't care if you answer because we're gonna get mad. So you know what? We're gonna. It was an accident. I didn't even know it was. I don't care. Okay, Sundere, what do you think that is? Um, that's the hot and the cold one. They act like they hate you, they act this, but okay. they're really right, yeah, yeah. I was super like, into you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the classic archetype that everyone loves that the most. Yeah. Uh, I think the most popular answer would be Rin for this one. Rin? Am I wrong? Rin from who? Because I'm thinking like three different Rin from, uh... Well, also, no, but which Rin are you talking about? I'm a blank on the name. Oh, my lord. Uh, <laughs> Do you know their full name? That might help. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> God, why are we like this? Why are we like this? Is her name not Rin? Who are you... Th- How does um, she look like? How does she look like? Twin tails, red shirt, black skirt, thigh highs. She's a wizard. The Grand Crest Wars, whatever the fuck. What the fuck? Or the Holy Grail Wars, whatever the fuck they're called. I, I'm so lost now. The Grand Crest Wars. No, the Holy Grail Wars. The Holy Grail Wars? Yeah. I'm not talking about the... Why am I thinking of Seven Deadly Sins? I know you're not, not talking about... Not the Seven Deadly Sins, no. Dude, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm only thinking of subtitles and not the main title. What's what's the subtitle? Zero. That didn't help me at all! Uh, Infinity Blade Works. Is that the studio? No, it's the subtitle, man. Oh, Fate. Yeah, Fate. There, there we go. Yeah, Ren from Fate. Okay, 
Yeah, okay. Um, Isn't she the, the number one tsundere? I've seen mixed things on that. So what makes she, things? Well, she, she is one of them, but... and She is one, got, period. Well, no, 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 not in terms She's of, like... She's just also a more complex no, character, no, so people don't like her, no, is that what you're going to say? No, 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 like, no, she is popular. Like, when, when people think of Sundari, they do think of her. Popular. There's two, there, but there's always two that I see along with her. So there's, there's Rin, then there's... Eh. Huh? Doesn't truly match the archetype. What the fuck do you mean? She's not a tsundere. Alex, you just listed her. You just fucking listed her. I said oh, Rin. Alex, I, I thought, what are you doing? I you, Alex, what are you doing? I thought you said Rem. Ah! I thought you said Rem. I'm gonna kill you. I thought you said Rem. I'm gonna burn you. I thought you said Rem. Ah. As, as in Rem and Subaru from... Listen to my words. What is, what is that called? Ram. Ram? No, like, Ram is her sister. Ram? Ram and Ram, yeah. 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 No, I said Rin. I, I get that now. Oh, I God. thought you said Ram. I was like, I was so mad. Like, Rin, no. Alex, you just looked at right, What are the other two? What are the other um, two? Tiger. Toradora. Um, I'd okay. say she for the other Yeah, she has. Yeah. Um, and to be fair, again. I don't. The, I don't think there's enough popularity there to outweigh Ren. Well, I, I, okay. I'm not saying that she is. It's just I've st- I've just... seen her very frequent. I'm not saying she has it more. I'm just saying she's very sure. frequent. Sure. Okay. And then the other one. No, to be fair, this one I, I don't know because it's one of my biggest blemishes as an anime content creator that I haven't watched it. It's also partly because of your fault because you don't want me to watch it in the proper way. Um, Asuka from Evangelion. What do you mean? I do want you to watch it the proper way. No, I mean, but I was like, oh, I'll just watch it um, on whatever. And you're like, no. Also, Asuka from Evangelion is not a Sundari. She that, is popularly understood. Be I one, shoot she you, is not one. Bro, I shoot you not. There's no dare. She's soon. There is no dare. Listen. She's not listen, a romantic listen, option like I'm that. just telling you what I've seen. She, like, every list I've seen, she, when she, I was looking, when I was trying to look some shit up. She hates and resents Shinji. She's list, not. Listen. She's all not a tsundere. Listen, all I'm saying, all I'm saying, is that I I everyone, know people keep putting her. It's always bothering me. People have labeled her as a tsundere. No, dude, no, no, no. It, no, no, it's what, antithetical no, 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 this to is the what I'm trying to. Point this is what I'm trying to explain to you. She's not just on those lists, bro. She's like dominant. She's either number one or number two. I know, and it bugs me because it's not accurate. She, as a character, does not fit the archetype of tsundere. What defines Sundra? No, no, me, I, I don't know. No, give me the definition of Give me the definition Oh, I, I do have to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. we haven't gone... But, okay, before, me before we do that, though, I... Oh, wait. First, before your favorite Sundra. I'd, I'd probably go... I, I know they say uh, it on here, but I'd probably go Tiger. I, I, I do genuinely like her. Wait, hold on. Going back to de- uh, Dede is does the girl from Your Light Naples count? The blonde girl? Probably. I'd probably say her. Okay. Um. Yeah, as soon as it's, it's, it's Taiga for me. It's not Taiga. There's someone else in the archetype I like more, but I'm struggling to think of who. I know there is one, though. There's a hot and cold relationship that I've always liked more. I'm big into hot and cold relationships, so. Or I should say antagonistic relationships. I am certain I will think of it soon. I will let you know soon. Okay. Yeah, you can come back to that one bit. I like how this I like how this is just turning into the whole fucking fucking Dede episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that. Um if you read, have you ever heard of? It's not like I gave this insert item here to you, Baka, or it's not like I worry about you with a pouty face. Then you're probably familiar with Sundarans. They're a person who is cold and hostile on the outside, but sweet and kind on the inside. With the right people, it's possible that most recognize. Wait. Oh, but warm on the inside with the right people. I'm a spirit. It's possible the most recognizable dead type that originated from the character named Ayu Daiku from the visual novel. Kimaga no Kimaga no wa? No. Wait, no. Kiga Kimaga no Zomu Ian. Kimaga no Zomu Ian. 
<laughs> that is. <laughs> how does actually more? <laughs> Kate Perry song "Hot and Cold" probably describes the shifting nature of the tsundere because hey, it may be the process of yeah. Yeah. sorting out the feelings responsible towards the people in their lives. They mean they're mean to you one day and somewhat caring the next. Yeah, that that is. They're starting out with the big one, so... Uh, Yandere? Yeah. Is that the murder one? Yeah. They murder hobos? Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I will never get why this one's so big. You know what? I'll never, never understand. This is the most toxic fucking okay, dairy, you, I think. Okay, at one point, I murder was... Murder hobo dairies. Oh, okay, right. at one point, I was actually extremely into this. Yeah, I, and I will... I, I've completely... I've completely... I hate it now. I hate it now, and I, I just completely understand why, because there's all... There's... Like, two types of... I think you have to be actively emo or into emo culture in order to like a yandere. Or I you have think, to just be I think that I think that too. Or you need to either have, like, a lack of love or an, uh, a lack of understanding of love to, like, understand that, like... To, to look at that and just be like, oh, yeah, I want someone to be that obsessed with me. But not really understand what that truly means for someone to be that obsessed with you. Yeah. Like, um, let's see. Is there a minimally toxic version of this? Do I have a favorite one of this? Do you have a favorite one of this? I actually, yeah, you do. It's not you, no. Anymore. As death. As death is not a younger. Yeah, she is. No, she's not. Yeah, she is. No, she's not. Yeah, she is. No, she doesn't. She ain't a tsundere. She, is, she's, she does not murder people. Yeah, she does. Hold, hold the fuck on. Out yeah. of her obsession? Yeah, she does. No, she doesn't. She literally focuses on her, her obsession so much that she is willing to kill everyone else to protect that obsession. Yeah, she is. She's no. the Andre. No, she's not she's, Andre. Yeah, she is. No, she just doesn't not. focus the murder towards the the victim of her obsession. No, that's a bit different. And actually, she does at first. So, yeah, she is. No, she doesn't. No, she, does, she doesn't at first. I wanted to give you potentially later. Yeah, before but I, she becomes... Obsessed with him? Yeah, she does. No. She's just a she's just a ruler that's doing it for the kingdom. She doesn't she's just trying she's just doing she's just it. She's obsessed with death. Huh? She's just obsessed with death, killing and power. Yeah. Okay, being obsessed with death was not Okay, a what dare is she? Huh? What dare is she? I forget the <clears throat> I forget the name, but mm-hmm. I think it more plays uh-huh. into like the Pompous Queen type, which is not a, No. Yes. No. Yes. No, Pompous Queens are not as murdery and obsessive as her. She's literally so obsessive, the main character is able to play her while being totally obvious about it. No. Yeah. She's literally a yandere. No. Yeah. No. As death is a yandere, and I haven't heard him actually substantively defend it yet. That's because you interrupted me like five fucking times. Have you noticed that? Okay. Have you noticed that? Go on. So, she's not, because she does kill, but just killing doesn't make you a yandere. What? To- in totality makes you yandere. You have to be obsessively in love with someone uh-huh. to the point that you would kill both, for them. Both kill for them, but also kill them. No, I don't think. No, that's yeah, no, part. yes, a no. big part. No, a big part of them is that you you no, basically a threaten part of the them. Meme with love. is, but I don't believe that's necessary for the archetype. one of the biggest characters. Sure. And uh-huh. who is a yandere does that? Uh-huh. Like, yeah, I agree most, with that. Most I'm, not saying, most yandere, I'm not saying no. that you can exclude that. Like, it's not that. No, no, no. no. Mo- I'm saying, saying that it's say, not exclusive to that. No, I would say that most. I would say that most yandere mm-hmm. are willing to kill their loved yeah, ones. I in agree. The sense. As uh-huh. that, as I that, agree. And even though that she does in uh-huh. times kill uh-huh. for the one she loves, uh-huh. she would never lay a finger on him. And she has made that perfect. Sure, that doesn't change that fact. It does. I don't. I do think a big part is how you treat the person that you care about. Yandere's do love the person, but will kill Read them the if definition. they don't love them back. Read the definition. Wait, hold on. You think she wouldn't kill him if she thought he didn't love her back? She would, and you know it. And he knows it, because he's genuinely afraid for his life if she ever finds out that he doesn't love her. No. Yes. No. You're fucking retarded. No, you're just fucking stupid. Dumbass. Read the definition. What if someone with a data data personality suddenly takes a third turn? That's basically who the yandere is. At first, they're really affectionate and loving towards the significant under until it becomes a constant obsession with them. This leads to yandere to become violent, overprotective, violent. Uh-huh. Wait, hold on. 
This leads the Yandere to become overprotective, violent. Never and... speak up. Be loud. Oh. <coughs> That's okay. This leads the Yandere to become overprotective, violent, and psychopathic towards uh-huh. those they deem a threat to uh-huh. the happiness and well being uh-huh. of their partner. If uh-huh. they feel slighted, they might also uh-huh. harm their beloved in order uh-huh. to protect themselves. Uh huh. That fits as death to a perfect fucking T. No. How not? No. How? You know how we can not. solve. You know how we can solve this. We can just watch Aquaman Kill again for the, for an episode. Sure. Okay. How not? How not? I told you. I already explained it to you. He mm-hmm. failed. No. To substantively you, defend You just in don't like the form. answer. That's all it is, and it's fine. No, Who's your answer did not include a disagreement with me. I did. Where? In the way I said it. How? It's the way I spoke it. It's the way I said my words. Uh-huh. Yep. I'm just not going to repeat He's just it admitting again. that he lost this round. No, Let's go I'm not. What's your next one? Which one is Andre? I don't like Andre's. I don't um, care. Pick one. If I had to pick a favorite Yandere, who would it be? Um... I'm sure there's a vampire somewhere assessing Jesus uh, main character. Yeah, there's the ones with vampire Probably night, down right? for that. What? There's the ones with vampire night, right? No. Mm-hmm. The ones with pure blades. And they assess you with pure blades. No. This is a fair. You got a list. You got to get Hold on. Bert. As death wasn't even on this. Who the fuck is a yonder? Bro, the examples they give to me are Yuno Gasai from Future Diary, Sato, no. uh, Matsuzaka from Happy Sugar Life, and Asaya Agakari from Orimo. Who do what? Who do what? Oh, from Orimo. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Bitch, I thought we said no Googling. I'm not. You are. No, I'm on the wiki. That's Googling! <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Also, I... is your phone recording? I thought you couldn't do this. Yeah, put my, the... phone, my phone is recording. Put the phone down. Fine. My phone is down. Are you happy? No, no recording. Fuck you. No, no Google. I fuck know. you. I don't know. I don't know it. I don't know any fucking yandere's I give a shit about. No, fuck you. You said no Google. What the fuck is that kind of dairy? Haika Sukabuka Berry? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I really like that one. Yeah, I like okay. that one. You know what? I like that we'll one. Get, we'll get back to this one. Oh, that's that's a favorite. Hold on, we'll get back to this one. We'll get back to hookah, buka, wooka, dairy. Yeah. And that's 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 mainly because I, I am I am realizing I might have fucked up. Why? <laughs> realizing I might have fucked up. Why? We'll, we'll just get to it when we get to it. Okay. We'll just get to it when we get to it. Fuck you, let me, this is supposed to be a game Go, for you. Go, fucking read. Huh? How am I interrupting you? Fucking this read. This is supposed to be a game for you, so read cut it. No, close the fucking tab. Bitch, stop being a bitch. This is supposed read to be a it. game for you. It is a game, so continue it. Close the wiki. Bitch. Close the wiki. Continue. Bitch. Close the wiki. Bitch. Continue. Close the wiki. Bitch. Close the wiki. No, I'm not doing it. Close oh the God. wiki. Fucking cunt. You're a fucking Cunt. I'm you sorry that? that you want to fucking cheat. No, no, no. I'm sorry that you're you want to fucking cheat. Cunt. I'm sorry that you want to fucking cheat. Okay, like a fucking, fucking bitch. Like fucking a bitch. fucking bitch. You're being the fucking bitch. You're the one. Move the fuck cheat. on and continue the fucking podcast. You dumb piece of shit. Because you say it in that weird way doesn't make it fucking work as well, bitch. Don't fucking put your hands on me. Stop. 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 I'm gonna stare lovingly at you until you continue. You can't. You need to... Don't touch me. Okay. Continue the fucking thing. You want me to continue when you do that? <laughs> yes. No. Anyways. Done to this. Which one's fucking dandere? You gotta give me an answer, bitch. Uh, give me him. Give you examples. Uh, Mikuru Ashia from the Malakani Harui Shuzi Mia, Hinata Hugaya from Naruto, Inodeko Shinkoku. Okay, I think I get it. Okay. All right, so quiet, soft lovers. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I saw this. Uh, this is um, one is a weak archetype. You don't like anything, do you? People who are into this are weak. 
Oh, you're an asshole. People who are into quite submissive wives are just kind of weak. See, they seek something weaker than them, meeker than them, that they can exploit. They only enjoy it because there's no fight in it. You have no positivity. Wow. They're cowards. You can't just look at it and just... Solve. Naruto is a piece of shit because he settles. You don't watch Shippuden, so you don't know her progression. You're not like, no. If, you, if you're going to... like that's true. If you, no, it's not. If, I said... That's true, as in what you said is true. Oh. You dumb piece of shit. Who's your favorite Dante? <sighs> is there a quiet, soft lover who isn't a coward? Let's see. Oh. I think I've got my favorite... Uh, Sundere. Standere. No, Sundere. Oh. I, I forgot where you... That's my bad. Go. <laughs> uh, chick with hammer and nails from Juju. Main, main character. No, I, I, I get that, but I... Oh, Sundere. Okay. Yeah, Sundere. Okay, She's yeah. a Sundere. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll give you that. Yeah. Yeah, the finale of season one, she rocked my world. That was great. She's just fucking badass. She's awesome. I can't believe she took the number one waifu spot for my predicted number one waifu. Who they just did not treat well. Season one. Anyways. Um... The Dondre is, yeah. <laughs> you got one? It's like quite tight. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Mine just did used to be Hanata, but I don't like Hanata as much. Um, well, I do, but like she's not really that anymore. But I can't really think of anybody else. I am also, you know, I mean, I'm not gonna be mean about it. Huh. But, like you. But I'm also not a big fan of this archetype either. I think I do know one that isn't a coward. Um, speaking of Avatar the Last Airbender, oh, Zuko's wife. She's quiet, shy, doesn't talk much. My oh 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 oh. The girl with the knives. Until we find a dairy archetype matches her better, I genuinely think she's a good example for this one. There is one that does a bit more. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. For now, that's my choice. Yeah. Um. Well, yeah. Dunderheads are usually shy, quiet, and asocial people in most situations. Absolutely. They tend to stay quiet to avoid getting into conflict. Despite their mm -hmm. reserved nature, these, introver these introverts will open up to show their daddy side when they're alone with the right person or group. So, so. Yeah, absolutely fits Zuko's girl. I... Okay, it may be mis me mis for, for... Uh, It may be me misremembering, but I swear to God, that was a different... Um, I think she might be... I don't remember if she acts this way, but there might be one that fits better. It might, there might be the next one. Um, Kude. Give me an example. Uh, don't think I've ever heard this term. Uh, they used the one I was gonna. They used the one I was gonna use. Uh, cool. Re on. Re. I. I know me. Why I don't know why I can't pronounce that. From the um, Re from Neon Genesis Evangelion. Kanade, Tachibana from Angel Beats, and Saber from Fate Stay Night. Ray? Yes. How do you pronounce it? Ray. It's Ray. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I pronounced it Ray. Um, the blue hair chick? I think so. Interesting. I wrote Pedro as the last one. Uh, the last one we just did. Oh, I get what you mean. Like, it's... Um, in that case, I don't know. Is this one defined by self-loathing? 
Or literally having no personality? Is this like blank or emotionally crippled? Kind of, sort of, but not really. Okay, give me the definition. Okay. I made my guess. The Kudere always plays it cool, and then uh, the Kudere always plays it cool, as the name suggests. Even in the most stressful situations, they're always calm and collected. They never panic and often remain distant and analytical to the end. Unlike the Dandere, that rarely displays any affection or emotion to the others in any situation, but may be hiding their true emotions deep down. An extreme example that takes the trait further is the Shundere, who are emotionless and who are emotionless all the time because they're sad That's or right. depressed. That's they right. rarely interact or socialize with others and that's lock right. away their true emotions deeper than a kudere. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah, Rei is... So, Rei is not a kundere. She's yeah, a whatever She's a shundere, is. yeah. Shundere. It's just that that's um, the... I hate shundere. <laughs> <laughs> well... Um, and kundere... Oh, man. Kundere are, like, the toxic version of that last one we did. Well, that, I, that's what I thought Mai was. Not in, like, the super bad sense, but in the sense of, like... No, no Mai is the first one. She is socially active, even if she's being forced to do so. Um, she's one of the top three warriors in the Fire Nation. She's uh, a, a she's absolutely the first. Well, to be fair, you can be one. at the top and still be a queen. Also, player. she she does show her emotions, her her dairy side, when in the right group, under the right circumstances, with people. And it doesn't take too much teasing. It just requires the right circumstance. We see it in both the. Uh, oh, the, the uh, I mean the Kunda is the same thing. Well, that, no. well, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I no, thought I not. thought more in the sense of she was like a super logical person because that's what I thought. No, she's not. She's not. I thought she no. was. I thought she was. I thought I thought that's how no. that trio worked. I thought Zula no. was like the big bad beast. Tylee was like the happy go lucky one, and she was like the serious more. All like, I have known, logical. none of them fit into that. Watch that. Azula is um, the uh, psychologically damaged um, second child. With absolute second child syndrome all the way up. Um, and she's like horribly neglected and abused by both of her parents. Like her mother literally doesn't love her. Like there's there's some bad shit between her and her mom. I know, I know, I know. Um, and her father doesn't love anybody. <laughs> um, and her brother hates her. And she grows up cruel and twisted. She's not a monster. She's a sad, twisted... Monster. No. <laughs> sad, twisted, broken doll. She's just really... It's a really sad story. I feel like the show makes um, it out to be more of a monster than... Like, yeah, sure. If you like two-dimensional villains and don't pay attention to any of the subtext or even the non-sub actual text being displayed to you. You would be a monster, but still... Like if she purpose. was really a monster, then the final episode, they would have had no problem killing her. You know why? Because the only person in the final episode who had any problem killing anyone was Aang killing the only actual monster in the series, the Fire Lord. Okay, yeah. No, Ozai, um, okay, Ozai was an actual monster. Exactly. Monster. She was never framed as a monster. Notice how none, none of the main Avatar crew talk about killing her in the same way they do the Fire Lord, even though she's the new Fire Lord at that time. She is the Fire Lord and next in line for the throne of Phoenix Queen. And they don't even discuss the possibility of killing her because everyone knows she's just a messed up kid. No one recognizes her as a monster. Her brother asks to take the fight because she re he realizes how off her game she is, how broken she is, and knows that it's not going to come down to like needing to gank her. Okay, that's that's. I think that's fair. Okay, I can see that. Um, also, for the other two, Tai Li is the most um, emotionally uh, broken one at their core. The reason they're <laughs> a dare dare is um, to essentially put aside all the trauma of of their past. They they're the youngest of like eighteen siblings, and was sold to slavery. Yeah, wasn't she like part of a traveling circus or some shit? Like uh, that? Yeah, she was yeah. sold to a traveling circus. Like she's like. That's fucked up. No, that, that she was no. she she's a slave. Like there's a bad subtext there, um, and her relationship with Azula is explicitly about a a, a slave master, someone who's bought her um, for her affection, and someone who can't help but try and beg for everyone's affection. It's really sad. Um, and uh, Mai is actually the most emotionally healthy one of the group. 
she's uh, emotionally very, very healthy. She's just very withdrawn and very, um, well, she just doesn't like socializing much. But she's super sweet with Zuko whenever they're together. They've got cute nicknames for each other. She smiles. They're very sweet. They're just a really sweet couple. Okay, there. Okay, moving on. We got the... Yes, I got to avoid... Oh, wait, who's the... Favorite. Yeah, who's the... Who's, who's your favorite Kundere? I hate them all. <laughs> no, no. Kundere! I actually do hate... I apparently don't hate the one we did before, the one who not fits into as much, because I thought that included this, this shit. No. Um, oh, oh, that's what you thought Dandere was. Yeah, I thought this stuff was included. Oh, in no, 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 no. This one is just... The, no, Dandere is yeah. just like... So, I just want Dondere's can be hella cute then. Um, yeah. There are probably some good Dondere out there. There are probably Dondere I like then. Um, no, it, uh, ooh, I don't know if she actually fits. Um, one that I am thinking of, I do like, what is the main character from uh, Gun Girl Online? She's not a Kundere. <laughs> She's not a Kundere. No, Dandere. You already said your Dandere. It was mine. Oh, shit, you're right. You need Mine's a, a better one. Yeah, you need a Kundere. I don't believe in Kundere. You need a Kundere. I, I don't believe in liking You must know someone who's like <laughs> an emotionless shell that you <laughs> No. <laughs> don't think I do. I don't believe you. It's gotta be one. An emotionless shell who's actually an emotionless shell. The, um, there are plays on Dondere, like things that people think are Dondere that aren't Dondere that I like. Not Dondere's, Kundere's. Whatever, Kundere. Things that people think are Kundere's that aren't actually Kundere's that I like. There okay. are plays on okay. like um, robots okay, hold on. and we machines gotta, that hold on, supposedly hold on, hold on, don't reel in for me. Hold on, we gotta, we gotta say it properly. <laughs> It's Kundere. It's Kundere. It's Kundere. Because we, keep, cause we, keep, we keep saying Kundere. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I know no one else has written it up, but I have, and it's bothering me. We can't. Is, how is it spelled? Uh, K-U-U-D-R-E. Okay, I also got it. At some point, I thought you said Kun, like K-U-N. Oh, good. Yeah. well, yeah. I meant to say, I can't mean to say that. Right, um, Kundere. Yeah. Kundere. Mine's, mine's got it from Angel Beats. That's like the closest one. Not even like, just does that fit? Yeah, she is very emotionless. Yeah. <laughs> like, if, to be fair, for good reason in that show. <laughs> that one is like, ooh, that hit deep. That one hits deep. So like, that's why I'm like, fuck. Okay, you kind of, you kind of, kind of earned this one. A two. Yep. You know what? I'm willing to give that to you. I'm willing to give that to you. I almost want to change my answer, but I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I'll keep my answer. But I came up with a good one. That was that's actually a really good choice. That's actually a really good choice. Literally doesn't have her emotional centers anymore. Yeah, that's yep. that's legit. Really a really good fucking choice. Um, this one, yeah, it's Baka Daddy. So idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Cute idiots. Um. Examples are Yoshiko Hanabatakade from Our oh Girl, Yuko Yoshida from Yeah, there are a lot Yoshiko, of idiots. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really cool. like the idiot thing too much, though. I hate it when it's done to the extreme. I think that's my thing. All the dairies are done to the extreme, if you haven't No, noticed. there's some that are, like, not that, like, fucking... Not much. enough. Um, fuck, what is an idiot girl that I actually like? That's a good, actually a good question. Honestly, haven't... there are probably more idiot boys. I like. There are probably more idiot boys. I am, I'm I'm not a lie. I keep forgetting that like boys. Can oh, film actually, days. shit! You know who's an idiot girl that this fits with? Um. Okay, I can't remember anyone's names now, but uh um, What anime? God, fuck Alex. <laughs> How do you not know? We the, watch this together. How do you not know time. the name of the characters or the anime, but you That's still like reason. know what this I'm, is? I'm, let me go through the all the right, intro in right. my head. Okay, at least it's uh the one where they're they're high schoolers and they play that game with their avatars. Oh, Baka and Test. Baka and Test. Yeah. There you go. 
They're all idiots. <laughs> but, um, the name. It's called Buck and yeah, Death. Yeah. Doesn't mean it's, you well, can use no, but I can I can choose. Oh, you my choice. Are you gonna pick the the the, the 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 main girl that follows the main boy around? No, not pink hair. Oh, okay. Uh, best friend girl, who's an actual idiot. You realize pink hair girl isn't an idiot. Hold on. Right? She's not an idiot. Wait, wait, She's wait, wait, super wait. smart and only ended up there because she wait, hold didn't on. show up for the test. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh huh. Isn't Mag- Magoom from Konosuba like Aqua? Don't they? Wouldn't they count as Baka? Aqua Davis? counts. I hate Aqua. <laughs> wait, you hate Aqua? I hate Aqua. Wait, why do you hate Aqua? I hate Aqua. Wait, what's wrong with Aqua? So many reasons. Wait, wait, what's wrong with Aqua? Keep in mind, so many things. Keep in mind, you're talking to someone who's only watched clips. I haven't actually sat down to watch Konosuba, but from what I see, it's, it's oh, fun. you will hate Aqua. Why? You will. Why? Cut. Okay. Actually, okay. You wait, know wait, 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 wait. I am Hold with on. toxicity. Hold on, on. That's not true. I've watched a couple of. The, I've watched at least the first couple of episodes. You haven't watched enough. You will hate the blue thing. That is, by the way, I'm what, trying. I'm what trying. like half actually, half of the community calls her. They don't call her awkward. We call her the blue thing. Actually, I'm remembering like the couple of episodes I watched, and she's a I remember dog being show a, character. I remember being like a huge mooch, actually. Yeah, like she's she is. like she's a she's dick a when she's reincarnating the main dude, and, and she's then she has her powers. The yep. So she's just smooching off with. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Like, we're done like that. She's a dick and a mooch. Um, doesn't doesn't she like change though? No. No one in sure? Super changes. Okay, but people like no. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no one in Super not, changes. Not the change, but I I know people. I haven't seen enough of her because I haven't watched a lot. I know people really like McGoon though. Yeah. Is she a good character? I love Megumi. Okay. okay. Isn't she clumsy? Because wouldn't she count as a bucket dead too or no? No. Okay. I'm just... I don't know. I'm She's just... an idiot savant, so she doesn't fit. What the fuck does that mean? Um, In the same way... So you know savant syndrome, right? The kind of like Asperger slash autism disorder that's like so extreme but is like counteracted by extreme intelligence. Oh, yeah. Like goodwill okay. hunting. Yeah, like yeah, hunting. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Are you saying she's like that? Yeah, she is, she has savant syndrome. She's an idiot savant. In anime, they don't really express proper disorders like autism very well. So instead of being someone who has um, literally no social understanding, anything, instead she's an idiot savant. So she has a lot of moments of seeming idiocy, but it's backed up by extraordinary skill and intelligence. She is the foremost expert or explosions in the world, as far as we can tell. Okay, that's weird. Also. But she can only cast one explosion a day, and then she's just... No, I know I know that. I know that's the meme. So she's an idiot savant. Yeah. So she doesn't fit in this category. This Tamaki from Fire Force one. Um, probably, she's the one with the flaming cat ears. Yeah, fuck, I hate her. Yeah, she counts. I'm not saying you should hate her. I'm just... Yeah, yeah, she counts. Okay. As much as I hate her, she's probably the only one I can think of that right now. Goddamn, I'm so sorry for your taste. Um, it's the only one that I can think of that I like having a follow of a that line. Huh? I thought of a better one. Which one? Fire contest. Brown hair girl. I'm willing, to, fine. I'm, willing to take, I'm willing to take that because I don't want Tomoki. <laughs> I don't want to use Tomoki on this list. Um, okay. Also known as the resident airhead, the Baka Dere is clumsy, stupid, and often Baka. lacks common sense when dealing with things in their life. The optimistic outlook... Naruto would also fit in this category. No, he wouldn't. He's not yeah. dumb. He is dumb. Actually, Luffy would fit really good in this. He is absolutely dumb. Yeah, that... Luffy. Actually, I'm taking Luffy. I'm putting, I'm putting Luffy in here. Their optimistic outlook helps with them to be kind with others when they don't even know it. The charm of a Baka Dere is Hold on, hold on. I let one dude pass earlier. Because he makes a great waifu, all things considered. Ooh. But we're doing waifus, not husbandos here, right? I was never established. I was just listening. To okay, I may have been taking some extra context from one of our outside the podcast discussions around waifus recently. But my assumption going through this list was that we were looking at waifus to compare. I'm not going to lie, that, that just kind of happened. In that we case, could, we in could that case there are so many better options for half the things that we've said. You can go through them. Oh, oh my god, there's so many, like, like nerd boys. Like, oh my god, all, all of fucking Actually, boy love has so I, many of the nerd characters. About it, when, so many of the main characters, the um, hyper characters. Wouldn't Saki so K many. work better as a Kudere, or since he's, like, kind of emotionless? 
Um, that's one that's like he's a kundere, but like it's a, it's a count. Um, as which one? Saki K. It's like the the dude. as which one? Oh, kundere, the emotionless, more emotionless one. Yes, because he literally locks his emotional responses away. Okay. In there, that's that's a better option. That's more. Would mom count as a coup today? No, he does not lock his emotional responses away. He in fact has extraordinary, extraordinarily high emotional responses to nearly everything. It takes a while for them to build up, but um, he has no control over his emotional outbursts. It seems. Yeah, fair. He has no emotional regulation whatsoever. Okay, for the rest of these, should we probably do like one boy, one girl? No. We should probably do one. I'm gonna one continue one. sticking to girls because as, as the main focus because that's what I've been doing. Okay. Hey. I'll go through and do husbandos when we do husbandos. At some point, we've got to cover husbandos on this channel. We really do. Yeah. We really do. Okay. Um, so many better options for husbandos than there are for wife. Uh, I Maya Dede. Fucking male centric industry. What? Maya Dede. What the fuck is a Maya Dere? Uh, you tell me. <laughs> Someone who likes flowers. No. Fuck. I okay, guess. I'll give you examples. Y Yami from To Love Through Darkness, Juvio Lockster from Fairy Tale, and Toka Yatogami from Data Life. That, if you've watched Data Life, that last one should give you a pretty good idea of what that yeah, is. If I don't remember character names. Oh, that's right. You're the I, one I'm awful with names. names. That's right. You're the one that's actually bad with names. Um, uh, is it nerds? No. Geeks? No. I'll just read the description. <laughs> yeah, read the, read the description. The Maya Dere is typically portrayed as the antagonist or dear antagonist in a series. After a situation occurs that makes them fall in love with the main character, they switch over to the protagonist side to help them. While they appear hostile and intimidating at first, a change of heart allows them to reveal their true feelings for the protagonist later on. So, literally just villain girl turn good. Sure. Yeah. You don't get or to use her. Person. Who? You know who. Ezeth is not blonde in this. No, she's not. She is not okay. a Maya Dere. Just want no. to make sure. You said that she supposedly fits into a different thing. She better. does. She doesn't. We'll see. Um, so this is the enemies turned lovers archetype. Yes. Um, I need to think of one. I mean, come on. I, is there a big one? I feel like this there's is a, a really big one you're missing. Other than Toka, which I, I fucking hate Data Life though, but like fucking. Sort of online. <laughs> Main romance? They're not really... Enemies. They're antagonistic to each other in the beginning. Well, I'm gonna, I'm it's gonna... not Sundre where she like secretly harbors feelings. No, 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 I get, I get that. It's but... actually an antagonistic relationship. I... He frames himself as a supervillain and she resents him at first, is antagonistic towards him, and then they find commonality and from there on, they're lovers. I... Yep. I, I, I don't I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how I feel about this. It's it's very annoying. This is very this one is very annoying. Why? Because you uh -huh. and I both know uh -huh. that you don't uh -huh. inherently need to be evil. To be uh -huh. an antagonist. Would you say that? Yeah. Yeah, like you would call... Of you course. would call L in Death Note the antagonist. the antagonist. Absolutely. Cool. I feel like this description inherently goes with evil people. Because I feel like... No, it doesn't. In fact, it would inherently go with the opposite. The most famous person in this category, based on that description, you know... It's a dude, but you know. It's Zuko. Uh huh. I don't. Uh huh. <laughs> no, no. No, 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 read, no, no. Read the description. No, 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 no. Read, read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm not. Uh -huh. I'm not, dis I'm not disagreeing. 
Uh huh. This is not a disagreement uh-huh. that we are having. Uh huh. My problem is, is that one of uh-huh. my mind is saying that like, well, Zuko makes sense because Zuko was actually bad, but I also just but he's not ah, actually bad. Can you let me? Like, can you let me? Can you let me? Like, we, I know he's not, but like inherently, we first start talk. We don't know to learn a little bit more about him, right? But actually, thing, literally in episode one, we are introduced to him as a human and not entirely bad person. They humanize him immediately. Uh, he and, and Uncle Iroh um, humanize him with the boat crew. And all of episode one. Episode one is mirrored in both the discovery of Aang and Aang discovering the world and Zuko discovering a purpose. his purpose in life um, isn't futile. It's like, there, there's a mirrored relationship there throughout all of episode one. Zuko is never, never portrayed as just evil. I wouldn't call her an antagonist, though. Why not? It, like... She threatens his life. She gets results so, qu- like, so quickly, though. Sure. Like, I'm sorry. I didn't no, see anything. No, 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 yeah, like, yeah, it's like, just because they finish this fast doesn't necessarily mean that that doesn't mean that they're antagonistic. But, like, I don't know. I just, I just, it feels wrong. I, I like, I can't explain it. I almost Do you think I, she fits better as a Sundere? No, no. No, I don't know what she fits as. I, I don't think, I don't think, I don't, I don't think. I don't, I don't think I could have on my identity. I just don't think I could have I just don't think I would. I, think, I don't know what she would fit in, but she's something that she just fits. She just fits There's another million. dude that fits really well in anime. Oh, my alchemist. Brotherhood has one. I fucking hate you. I'm angry. That was like one of my favorite characters. Don't you fucking care? Greed. That's not who I thought you were bringing, gonna bring up. Who did you think I was gonna bring up? I was gonna bring up Scar. Scar. <laughs> I did that to myself, um, honestly. <laughs> no, Scar never turns enemy to lover. Ever. No, you're right. It is more like. What the fuck was that? I cramped. I cramped. I cramped. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We might need, we might need to pause. <laughs> okay, we're gonna pause we for a need- second. Due no, to, no, uh, no, no, don't, don't pause, don't, no, no. Okay, all okay, one. no pausing. Yeah, just all, just all one recording. I'll, 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 We're going to take this opportunity to take a piss break wait, wait, slash on, hold a hold decrampifier. No, oh. de- decramp, man. Stretch out, walk, walk around for a second. Now we're back. I shit you when I hit you. Whoa, 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 wait, hold on. Our camera's... Oh, oh, it's, it's fine, I guess. That was weird. I genuinely hit you. What for? I'm not the one who cramped, bro. You are the one that I know. I'm not. I'm not even gonna say it just in case. All right, on to the next. I'm not gonna lie. I expect you to get this one. Okay, hit me. Neandere. Hit me. Yandere. Hit me. Neandere. Neandere. This is just a cat. Yeah. Cat, sweet cat thing. Yeah. Um. Ooh, interesting. Are we allowed to use traps as waifus? Yeah. Or they just ban those. No, no. Well, to be fair, we're talking about the archetype, so it doesn't matter. No, it does for my listening, because remember, I'm doing top waifus. Then no. Do we allow traps in waifudom, or, mm. hold on. Well, actually, hold, hold on. on. Hold Some, on. like, uh, Astolfo hold on. Yeah. Does, yeah, okay, wait. does not identify as male. No, Astolfo, right? no, Astolfo identifies as male. Yeah. But if they're more, if they're accepted as I don't know, I think Kyle Stoffo identifies as the middle sex. Really. None of us has watched that part of Fate, so we don't know. Red. The only time that's ever mentioned is in the mobile game, I think. Red. Red. Some reading. Uh. None of us have read that part of Fate. I think that's a lore card in, in related to either just no, a no, I question know. and answer section of a wiki or a wait no there's a I no actually there's a clip where it's. Astolfo and John of the Ark 
And I know the one you're talking about, but it's Astolfo playing up not being either, really. Not saying he's more okay. one. It, it, it's saying okay. what people All right. treat him hey, as, look, ha, not ooh, what ha, he is. Ha, okay. It's actually so, him kind of expecting uh, it. He doesn't get to. Okay. Who's like, interrupting who now, bitch? Well, because you're talking nonsense. It's, this doesn't help. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess every dog has to be interrupted. It it's doesn't... not like you're ever talking nonsense when I interrupt you, the problem bitch. Is, the problem is when you interrupt me, I'm actually trying to answer something. And then you're like, me too. Wait, but hold on. But yours is not helping. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you and your bullshit. You're giving you're a hypocritical ass hat. Just no, like you're giving no, de- you're, you're giving, giving hypocritical you're giving details, fuck, boy. You're giving details of the scene that isn't necessarily answering our question because once you say it, we still have to answer the question. It's as valid as your de- description of what happened when. Just my description of what happened when. Yeah, but yours is long. Fuck when off. Then. Fuck off of your bullshit. Am I wrong? Yeah, you are. Yours is no. Yours is long. It's not yours, that long. Yours is yeah, always long. long because you keep trying to interrupt it. That's it. No. Yeah. No. Uh huh. Go. Say your piece. I was gonna say. Was, uh, say your piece. You know what I mean? If you're gonna say some bullshit, I was give. You, I was gonna give you an answer. Uh huh. For you. Yeah. I heard you say. All I was gonna say that. No, that's an answer. We'll accept fun boys and traps. Okay. Who's that one from ReZero? Felix. Felix. Don't. Pretty, pretty good in the end. Don't. Don't. It's pretty good in the end, Derek. We can choose the same one. Okay. It's probably a better sign if we agree on the best one. No. It's mine. Um, <laughs> I can't have him. I want him. I think Felix may be my favorite Neon Derry. I hate you. Take it back. Okay, does it count for other animals? Or is it just cats? Let me read, because I don't know if they say cat-like yeah. features or... Other. Read it. Anyandere loves cats to the point that the... <laughs> Anyandere loves cats to the point that it becomes a part of them. They may even they may even be actual cat girls themselves who always use Nya at the end of their sentences. The Nandere character usually adopts cat-like tendencies when they show their dere side to others, though imaginary fangs or cat ears. They can also be emotionless people who show... Their self whenever encountered, whenever they encounter a feline. <sighs> so someone who either extremely likes cats or someone who is a cat person themselves, or does cat like things. It's specific to cats, huh? Yes, that's why it's called a Neandere. I'm taking Felix, bro. I'm taking Felix. <laughs> My bitch. Felix is a hella cute cat girl boy. It, what examples do they give for this? Felix. Uh, Black Hane Kawa from Montgomery. Hirata Bernstein from GG Club. And Villain and Vanilla and Chocola from Nekopera. Okay, Nekopera, I could say. That's because it's all cat girls. L- listen, I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, wait, shit. That wasn't Felix in my head just now. The there was f- a different cute cat girl in my head for a second. What? I don't know who. Interesting. I'll have to come back to that one. Huh. Yeah, but it's a bad one. It's a garbage one. But do you, you want me to say Neandere should belong a dumpster fire? Sure. No. She could start that dumpster fire. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Listen, there are I some, heard she gets better in the moment. There, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I heard she gets better is not a good defense, my man. Fire Force has so many good husbandos and waifus. That's just not one of them. It's not. It's not. I want her to be, though. Not not in the sense of, like... I wish all the characters were good characters. They're not all good characters. Sorry. She deserves better. 
Especially since her powers, like, does she deserve better? Yeah. Why? What about her deserves better? Kind of treated like. Uh huh. Is that because maybe okay. she is a joke? The, okay. The, uh huh. The problem with her. Uh huh. If she was. Uh huh. Is that like if she was used as uh -huh. a comedic character, I would uh -huh. have been perfectly fine with that. Uh huh. Because it's okay to have uh -huh. those exist. But uh -huh. it seems like the author wanted to use her as a sex object slash comedy. No, not that shit bag. I don't even think that's uh -huh. the worst part. It's just that she's had multiple points where she can sign, but they just take they just uh -huh. take it away from her for that reason. Because she can't. But she should. She has the ability to. But she doesn't. But she should. She should. Like I said, shit character. Because, like... Yeah, you're right. If she was given a better author... <laughs> okay, no, I like the author. Stop. Because it's the same... I disagree with a lot of the shit that author does. What, what do you mean? So many of, especially the aesthetic choices, are made purely because I know they just want to be horny. They want to be horny, they want their cake and eat it too, and they don't do a good job justifying it in the world. In fact, they do a shit job... And they're really bad at objectifying pretty much every woman character they put on screen. Man. Really bad with it. I awful with it. My favorite characters in it get horribly I... mistreated whenever there's an opportunity. For I them. have heard the manga does not do it to that extent. I only with Tamaki. Is Tamaki the only one that's like, no, this is like pretty accurate. But I've heard everyone else is like. No, they, he really doesn't. Especially since it's the same dude who made Soul Eater. Like. Uh -huh. <laughs> huh? You know, the same guy who made Soul Eater, the guy who like hypersexualizes and makes all of the villains female, and then also. All the villains aren't female. The majority of them are female. They're females until you get to the one that's the incel main villain. There's the wolf guy, and there's the little mosquito dude. There's a dude with the chancellor. You're right. There's a little side character no one gives a shit about. The one dude was like a main bad guy for a minute. What are you talking about? And then there's Asha who's like the main bad guy. Like I said, the incel guy. Yeah. The one whose entire thing... Yeah, he's an incel. Dude, the actual main villains are all featured around feministic characteristics, including the one that's a boy, secretly. Uh... And then are all given also weird fetishistic roles. Um, there's a cat that's hypersexualized for no reason because it's, it's just a cat. I know, I'm not even talking about villains yet. Hold on. That cat is just a cat and it's hypersexualized even though they're just a cat. They're not just a cat. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. Yeah, no. they are. No, I'm not. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. What are they? They're not a person, they are a cat. That occasionally, to fuck with humans and for sexual pleasure of the audience, turns into a naked lady. Hold on. She, no. It is just a cat. Yeah. No. Yes. No. They say it almost immediately in the series. Uh-huh. Yep. The main oh. villainesses are no, okay. a seductive snake lady and a fetishistic toad lady. The rat wasn't sexualized. The rat witch wasn't sexualized. Ooh, actually, you want to talk about the rat being sexualized? Okay, let's move on. You're ruining my show. <laughs> You're ruining my show. Um, the, the... The fuck did I just say? The, the main, fuck did I just... The, the fuck? Enemy Wait, hold on. The, the fuck did I just say? Let's move on. <laughs> okay, the main enemy nope. to lover, though? I don't want to. Stop. Right. I know you do doing. I bet. Come on. Go. What's the next one? You ruined everything I love. Good. You don't deserve to love anything. <laughs> Just because no one loves you doesn't mean that you can ruin everyone else's life. Why not? <laughs> that looks, that looks Perfectly like, balanced as all things should be. And would you understand how like mad okay that is? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking move on. Right. Read the next one. Um Biyokudere. Biyokudere? What the fuck? That's the, but that's the best way I could explain it. The examples they give Biyokudere. is... Biyokudere. Uh, Nagisa Fukikara from Clanid, 
Kyrie, uh, who, huh? Okay, I'm gonna have to take back one of my other selections. Apparently, she's not the dad I thought she was. Uh-huh. Um, Kyrie Miyazono from Your Lie in April and Sakura Yamiuchi from I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. Are these suicidal people? I. That's my guess based off that list. These are people no, with but suicidality. I remember, um, I remember what these are now. I, I, they put, I think you're pretty close for the most part. Uh, Byoko Dare are a caring character who suffer from a fatal disease condition that threatens their life. They often befriend the protagonist to give them perspective or purpose, mm. and their intimate depths are often used to motivate them. Would you in some cases, however, being a robot a fatal condition? In some cases, however, they're miraculously cured and get and get to spend their life with the protagonist. That wasn't a joke. I was. I wanted asking. to finish the fucking thing before you. <laughs> Would you consider the characters that do the same thing because they're a robot who can't express their emotions normally? And attaches those to the main characters because of that, and often end up becoming actually somehow human or whatever. Would that be oh my god! Like, you need this? To, you need that was a lot. You need to. So to sometimes so that, yeah. there's this archetype in anime where like a AI or robot um, is given more and more human characteristics or attitudes or is paired with the main character. Is Cortana one of this? Cortana is an AI with even a fatal syndrome. Rampancy. Which means that she can't live for more than nine years. Does she... Because uh-huh. I feel like this... Yep. Continue. Mm-hmm. Does she? I feel like that mm-hmm. um, this implies they have it when the protagonist meets them. Yeah. Does Cortana uh-huh. have it when the protagonist meets them? All AI have rampancy. I'm just fucking asking. AI in, in the Halo universe are born with a limited time span. They will fall into rampancy as they age and inevitably in the point there's a hard cutoff. Seems to be at the nine year mark. At nine years, rampancy kind of takes over. Starts dramatically decreasing their ability to live. They, it drives them mad as their as their processes start to over process data. They think themselves to death is how it's described. The sub processes continue on tangents infinitely as opposed to stopping at healthy points, stretching out their resources into so many different distinct directions that they stop maintaining the cohesion cohesion of being an individual. Does Cortana count, even though she a robot? Could you call robots and AI the same thing? Like a genuine question. Like, no, in this case, I'm calling her. Well, you said. Well, you said. Well, I'm, I'm well, simplifying. You, I'm simplifying. I, I know you're simplifying it, but like, you know us. We've sure, had sure. There are robots with no intelligence. They're not. Well, AI. no, I know. I get. I get that, but I'm like, I'm just saying, because like, obviously, I wouldn't. I probably won't say that for a robot, but uh-huh. for, yeah, an she's a- an AI. for an AI, she's an AI. A bit more complicated, but I. My okay, okay. Now my my I issue follow is, up. my issue because I think this is an easy yes. That's my hint. I think this is an easy yes. That Cortana obviously fits this. She's a conscious and intelligent. Literally defined as an intelligent well, no, no, life no, no, form. No, 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 no. My okay, synthetic my, life form. Okay, 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 okay. I have okay, a follow-up question okay. that is harder. Okay, my thing with this is girl and Chobits. Isn't necessarily the fact that she's an AI because I think for I think for the most part we would agree on the AI thing. Mm-hmm. My thing is the implementation of of the rampancy. Have you played Halo 4? It's literally the main thing in Halo 4 is Chief coming to terms with the fact that she's about to die. Rampancy's taking her. And he has to finish the fight. Get the fuck out of my room. Get the fuck out of my room. I don't even... I wonder what the fuck was it? Go take a shit. I wonder if that got picked up. If that Go was, I don't need to take... Do. I don't need. I don't, need, I don't, I don't believe. Need, you. I don't need to take a shit. I promise you. Audience, he just farted. His fart 
sounded like a hippo <laughs> blowing bubbles out of their ass. Oh my lord. Fuck you. I think it's an obvious yes. AI totally belong to this category. Now, I have a more complex question. What about in Chobits? There's not necessarily a limited lifespan, but the main girl, the main robot, the main Chobit is not human. What the fuck is the Chobit? It's a robot. What is, what is it from? Chobits. <laughs> it's what it's called, man. That's the anime's name. It used to be pretty big. It was, it was a big, big one back in the day, okay? Anyway, and Chobits... <laughs> no, I just, I just love the progression. It's like, it's like so there's the, 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 Chobits. the Chobits. What the fuck is a Chobit? It's a, a robot. robot. <laughs> <laughs> what is this from? Chobit. <laughs> like, that doesn't help me. <laughs> I answered your question. I'm not going <laughs> to... No, I'm not going you did. It just didn't help me. Like, right. at all. Anyway, point is, Robot Girl is not a human. Is not even... Check this out. Check, put the fucking phone down. I want to know... I Bitch, wanna... if I'm not allowed to look at my phone all the time, you're not fucking allowed to look at your phone all the time. Fuck no, you. you can... No, you're not engaging the same way. Huh? You want me to put my phone down even though I was looking up shit too. Hold on. And you were like, uh, no, fuck you. Hold on. I said fuck you mm-hmm. because we were playing a game. Uh huh. If you wanted to look, we're up, still I- playing that game, and you're not engaging. I want to know what Schubert was. I told you everything you need to know, and I'm about to tell you the rest of the context. Because guess what? You're not gonna be able to sit there and read more context that I'm about to give you. Maybe I might more effectively, what- and even if you were, the audience won't be able to fucking enjoy it with you. So fuck you maybe and I- engage. Maybe I might under. Maybe I might under fucking. I don't need you to understand what it actually is. I need you to understand what I'm trying to get to you. I don't need you to complicate that with your limited understanding based on what you can read in the 30 seconds I'm also trying to describe and what I'm trying to describe to you. It's only going to interfere. Only going to interfere. Dick ass, go. Dick ass. Go! So, Robot Girl is not fully intelligent. Does not have human level intelligence. Kind of a love story about a dude falling in love with his robot made that's just a robot in the end she is basically promoted into human intelligence and gets to reciprocate that love would we consider that described as in there that's why I need you not look up other shit because I need you to have that description up so that you can compare it no okay in the end of that they mention the fact that the disease or disaffection, whatever, can be cured. What disease does she have? Being a robot. That's, That's why I asked you no. to fucking look at it. <laughs> no. Why not? I'm not counting. Why just, not? Because I'm not, I'm not counting a robot. Why being a, not? I am genuinely actually trying to answer the question. No, you're not. You're about to say because I'm not going to count being a robot as an affliction. Why not is not being described there. You're, you're just not saying what wrong. you're not doing. You're, you're just describing. You're just describing what you're not doing, not why you're not doing it. Bro, okay, what else do you want me to say? She's a fucking robot. I would consider that affliction. No, no. Why not? It was curable in this case. I just gave you the little definition. It was cured, and she was given actual human intelligence and the ability to reciprocate love in the end. Bro, she just got a software update. <laughs> like, what do you want? No. <laughs> do you know what every fucking cure is? For human ailment, fucking software update. You piece of shit. Bro, no, I'm not getting it. Why not? I'm not getting it. Why not? You, your affliction is that's like being also being, for her it was is literally a hardware update, not just a software. Whatever, hardware, software, hardware and, and firmware update. That's, bro, that is like saying hardware, firmware, and software update, all three levels. Bro, that is that is like saying my affliction is I'm a human. <laughs> like what? No. no. It would be like saying your affliction was that someone took out the emotional core of your brain and 20 years later, when you needed to reciprocate love, they repaired or replaced the emotional center of your brain. I'm not counting that. Why not? Because this entails that at some point, that this is something mm-hmm. that has prevented you from yeah. being full. Uh-huh. And I'm not yep. counting that. Because, Why not? Because they probably didn't have the whole fucking update in mind when they first met her. 
This is like a completely um, different context when that happened. Uh, first of all, you're making up a whole bunch of content. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to fucking show it. I'm making like your description. So, based on my description, no, yes, no, absolutely. On your description, fuck, no, no. I'm based not telling you. No, fuck you. Yes, no, you did. No, fuck you. I'm not, no. I'm not telling that. Why not? Can I fuck you? Because you're a Why robot. Not? You're a robot. A robot's not a fucking affliction. That's retarded. That's bad. That's bad. No. Not fucking good. Really? Being a robot isn't an affliction? No. Oh? So, what about a character who's put into a robot body? That's different. How? You have a whole other type of consciousness that's attached to the robot. No, you don't. You just said that uh-huh. someone put being put into a robot sure. body. Yep. You're more than a robot, then. No, you're not. Yes, you are. How? You have a whole other consciousness no, that would never attach the robot. No, you Do you, you lose don't. your consciousness once your robot's gone? Are you, like, what? Yeah. You're just the robot now. Do you have any memory of your past life? Or are you just a robot? Uh, You have the and memories you... of that flesh thing, yeah. Then no. Why not? Because you're a robot. Why not? Because at that point, if your if your consciousness is put in just to be able to power the robot, and that's not you anymore, then no. Then you was gone, and you've created something new. So it's not an affliction. No. 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 Interesting. So Cortana can't. That's different. She's a fuck. That's why this is why I said robot or AI. She is a completely different entity. Okay. Robot is a body. Okay, when I describe someone being put into a robot body, I'm obviously implying that they have an artificial intelligence. Okay, I was not aware that you were using it in that fucking way. No one else does. Uh, uh, literally uh, 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 let me fucking let me fucking reel that back. Okay, reel back. Let me reel that back. Reel it back. I personally have not heard that. I'm not denying that other people have it, but I have not used, Isaiah, heard that using I don't put any value in what you have or have not heard when you have not heard half of everything that's ever existed. In fact, you haven't heard 99% of everything that's ever existed. Does that mean it doesn't exist? Fuck you. That's not a valid reason to not accept things okay, because well, you well, haven't heard it. Well, that doesn't change the fact that we're both using different de- definitions of what robot okay, AI is. Okay, and here, let's be real simple about this. Robot describes a body... Typically one inhabited by either an SI or AI. A synthetic intelligence is something faking intelligence. That's an SI. An AI is something that we consider that has actual intelligence, but is artificially created somehow. That's an AI. Artificialized intelligence. Would you say SIs and AIs are different? Yes. SIs don't have consciousness. As far as we can tell, they only mimic consciousness and have no ability to actually express consciousness. So then you would say the girl before is just an SI. The one no. Girl. Cortana's an AI. No, fucking Cortana. We know Cortana's an AI. The fucking uh-huh. girl from Chobits. The like robot. What the fuck it's called? Yeah, Chobits. Uh, the girl in Chobits goes from SI to AI. I my mean, thing still stands. That, that's both of the. I would look at both of those and say she those maintains are all of the memories of her past self. Why would she be different? You're different. Her you're synthetic you're... intelligence gets upgraded into a true artificial I, intelligence. I, I, I think whether you were able to just fake mimic consciousness and actually have consciousness is genuinely different. Sure. But so is being asleep versus being awake. I'm that not, doesn't mean... I'm not counting that as an affliction, dog. I'm not... I, I can't. I just can't. There's nothing that you genuinely can look at me. Why not? not? I need you those, to just... Bro, I don't why. know how to explain to you. Both of those are fucking different to me. When I look at something... Sure, so is unconsciousness oh, and consciousness. God, Bro, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're looping. We gotta, we gotta move on. We gotta move on. We're not looping. You're no- actually just refusing to engage with the new things I said. The SI is a fucking thing that is American consciousness. Uh-huh. It is not half consciousness. Sure. The AI does. So if I sure. look at that, you are not built with a fucking reflection. You are built as an SI. You are built with that thing. AI well, are completely different. Oh my fucking god, you're making me mad. Bro. No. Oh okay, my Now Lord. you're sure that you, you are looping, but only because you're not engaged with what I'm saying. Bro, I don't know what. I don't. Hey, I don't hey, know. Hey, let me finish. Let me finish. You're not engaging with what I said, which is unconsciousness is different from consciousness. When you're asleep or not unconscious, you have an affliction. It's called sleep, dumb shit. You still have fucking consciousness. No, you don't. And you still have consciousness in that moment. You don't. It's just doing the out. Okay, no, 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 no. You are now misunderstanding a reality. You still, you still, no, 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 no. You don't. You still don't interrupt this. You do not. Oh my god. I, that's my fault. I'm sorry. I got a bit hit. Oh, don't!
pull the cord. Okay, okay. Don't pull cords. Okay. Just let me pick it up. Okay. Okay. All right. Without being as heated, you are not conscious when you're unconscious. Your consciousness does not exist while you're unconscious. I need you to understand that right now. You? No, no. Whether you're yes whether or no. You, do you understand you, that? Whether you are asleep, you still are. You still able to wake up and still have that. You still oh no, you're not you still, always. You still no, like you still like you. Sure, you are. If sure, I'm you are asleep. You, uh -huh. sure, you are asleep uh -huh. and you're not conscious, uh -huh. but you still have the ability. To, no. You, you still have the ability to fucking regain that consciousness. You don't. No. You don't. We're looking at two different ways. I don't know. No, you're just, just not engaged with what I'm saying. Yes, I am. I don't, I, like, I, literally at this point, I don't, I don't know what then I'm here, saying to you. Here, when you're in a, co in a comatose state, do you have the ability to regain your conscious state? No, you're in a comatose state, but I would treat people differently like that. That's not a, I would treat people differently like that. That's, that, that's a whole different thing. What though. do we call a comatose state? Is it an extended period of unconsciousness? Is that what that is? Oh, yeah, it is. But it's also, a, but that's a state in which we are uncertain, in which you can get into that. If I'm asleep, um, I can regain my consciousness. So if you're born you, you, in, you're a in a comatose com state, you're born in a comatose state. Does that mean you don't, you, you're, not, you're not alive? I would say the what person. That? I would say that at some point that person never. There was not a point in which that person had consciousness. What? I would say if you're born in a comatose state, uh -huh. there was not a point in which that person had consciousness. Sure, but that's not what I'm asking. I'm not asking if this person had consciousness. I'm asking if this person is a person. Is someone born in a comatose state a person? I would say no. Genuinely, no. So you think what defines a person is their memories? I think a big their part, ability to continue an experience. I think that I think a big part so of what, being a human is having that human consciousness. Okay, what would you say about someone who wakes up with amnesia every day? Are they never a person? They were never a person to you. Ever. That's... Nope, it's a whole new person. That's... Every day. Have you ever watched Fifty First Dates? I'm willing to say... That Someone the, who wakes up every day I'm with willing, no memory of a life. I'm willing to give that consciousness but in a sense of a broken consciousness. You are still... You are still in sense of that day, still waking up with the human consciousness, but it's just repeating itself. But it's not repeating itself. Not you repeating, never not repeat repeating, a single experience. Not, okay, okay, not repeating it, but it's erasing. It's not erasing. It's never developing. Never leave short term memory. Or it's fucking stagnant or some shit. Short. So, why wouldn't you grant that to something that hasn't had its conscious experience yet? Why wouldn't it just be in a stagnant state? When I mean stagnant, I mean like you have the consciousness, uh -huh. but it's not growing. There's other things that just don't have consciousness at all. Sure, but we're talking about someone who's already born, so everything in the brain is probably fine, just born in a comatose state. That's not, it's not a thing yet? No. It didn't, 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 came, it didn't gain its consciousness. Consciousness. Conscience. Conscious. Consciousness. It hasn't had a conscious experience, is what you mean, yes. I think. Um, what is the difference between something born without a conscious experience and something that has never had a conscious experience? What is the difference between the person who wakes up every day never having experienced anything before in their life versus the person who's just never experienced anything before in their life? They are basically at the beginning of that human consciousness where that person never even starts. That person who wakes up every day, while they are redeveloping it, they are at least restarting that beginning of the consciousness. While the How person... is that different from the thing that is going to wake up and have conscious experience? Because at the point where before it even wakes up, never does it. Never has it. So? You can say the same thing about the one that has to make a new conscious experience every day. It's I would never say, had I would, consciousness I would, before. I would, say, I would say at the very least, it is re, it is constantly restarting its consciousness. Or, no, or not restarting. No, or based on what you told me earlier, it can't be. Because it's never had a conscious experience. But it is. It's waking up. It's uh -huh. like Whether it's confused or doesn't know what it itself, it is still... Being aware is still awake. It's still having so the human. So how is that different from the thing that will wake up that has never woken up? It has never woken up. So, 
Neither has the other one. It hasn't woken up. Neither no, has the other one. That one has. It's just at the very infancy of it, versus that one who hasn't even started yet. It's the hold same. On. Oh, hold it's on. the same way. How I saw has it, it developed conscious experience before? If it's never. It's developed basically conscious the equivalent before. of someone starting con- always just starting the first leg of a race versus never even getting to, to so, line up at the finish line. Which so, constantly just at so, the finish so line. So no, not starting the race. So no, you're wrong. Is someone who's never started the race versus someone who's Never started the race, bro. We're not gonna. We're not. We're not. We're not gonna. No, go no. Down I need you to describe to me why I ch- the kid who's just never who's at still at the start of the race has never started the race is different from the other thing that still hasn't started the race. But the thing has started the race. It's just at the first part of it, dude. I genuinely feel okay. Like what do you mean by that? Explore that, dude. So, uh-huh. okay. So it has started, which means that it's How? at least. A, it is waking okay, so at least when the person was constantly waking up. It is having it is having the touch and it's having the thought process, it is having everything that we would recognize as the basic functions of being able to have the human consciousness. We the would other, also grant that to the other thing that's only gonna wake up the one I, time. I, I I wouldn't because it hasn't woken up yet. It hasn't done it yet. It, this one hasn't either. This one has, it has woken up. It's when? just at the very beginning. The, I no, can, you told I me can, something wasn't a thing about how to have conscious experiences before. If it wasn't a continued experience, this has never had a continued experience. How is it different? Because at the very at the very least, you it can have that day of fucking experience, but it's a race. It's starting a new thing. That one is the even, other that, one can too. That one, I'm tell, but no, it's no, never hold, doing hold that. I have a fix. I have a fix for you. The doctor guarantees you. In five years, that, that kid is gonna wake up. That doesn't matter. For the five, for the five years before, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. At least the person before. Okay. Okay. Is no starting. conscious experience is happening. Is way different from nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. Or nothing's happening within the conscious. Holy experience. shit! Or no, 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 okay, nothing is happening within the conscious experience. No conscious experience is happening. Is not nothing is happening. It's also not nothing is happening that would affect a conscious experience. Let's say. Comatose patients sometimes have this thing where they seem to remember the events of their unconsciousness. Where that sounds is an actual thing that occurs. Where people will have memory of the things that happen to them in unconsciousness. It's not a conscious experience by no means. But they have developed memories that affect their conscious experience once they're introduced to a conscious experience. How can you possibly say the unconscious experience is valueless to a conscious experience given that I'm sorry we're, we're, I'm, I am so sorry repeat yourself again I'm sorry I you seem to value the ability to develop conscious experiences except you don't value that ability in an equal playing field between something that has no memory of past conscious experiences and something that hasn't experienced anything yet I don't get where that disconnect is happening. So the reason I care about the person who is restarting is because that person, while they are restarting constantly, they are at they are they are at least showing that they have they have probably they have the potential some ability to do that to at least spark and start that up. The person, the thing that is not. So I'm telling. So, given that I've given you the objective statement, the doctor knows. Kids can wake up in five years. There's a clock. There's an actual clock. What? It's guaranteed by God Himself. Until that person wakes up, why would I care? They not in that case. Until the person wakes up, why would you care about the one that's the other one either? Because the other one is waking up. It's just no, 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 no. Before it wakes up, why would you care? Before it wakes up yeah. for that day. Every night when it goes to sleep for eight hours, for that eight hours, why the fuck do you care about it? Because it's because while even though it's asleep. Mm-hmm. Even though. Uh-huh. Remember, whatever you say is gonna have to not also work for the other one if you want to maintain consistency here. All right, fuck it. You win. Put the phone down. Can we move on? Yeah, but 
now we get to play out. I don't the... want to. I want to move on. We spent so much time on this and don't care as much as this. I do. I care. I think this is the most interesting part of this conversation. I think the fact that the Chobits robot got to develop a whole bunch of memories that affected a conscious experience is indicative of a condition change, meaning a condition. Meaning that the year there was an affliction and a change in condition. And I think that means the robot from Chobits fits into this category. Also, in this analogy, the baby who's never woken up is developing memories all along the way. But the person who keeps waking up never develops any memory ever. No continued experience ever. Because that's what we're comparing. The robot in Chobits develops all these memories, even though they have no um, real conscious experience, we'd say. But they all affect the conscious experience once it's introduced to it. Once it gets to wake up. It falls in love instantly. Because it has all these memories with this person. I just wouldn't call that an affliction. That's my big thing. Because an affliction... An affliction means like a, like a disease, something that's hurting. And while like I get I, that it still has the memories, it's not necessarily hurting. Nor will it die if it's just in that robotic state. Whoever said an affliction has to be fatal? It literally doesn't. Some afflictions just remove the ability to do things. If I lost a leg, that would be an affliction. If I lost a pinky, that would be an affliction. A permanent one. I haven't lost my life. It's not fatal. My diabetes is an affliction. It's not necessarily fatal. All right, fine. Sure. Can we move on, please? All right. Read the next one. You have one that's your favorite. Also, did I drop your phone earlier? Is your phone still around? Oh, shit. My backup recording. I just realized that. It's fucking goddammit. Uh, probably, but I don't know where the fuck you knocked it. Ugh. Yeah, oh, it's behind me, you know. Oh, oh shit. And it looks like it stopped recording. Did it actually? Looks like it. That son of a bitch. No, hey, okay. Hey, there we go. But well, it's been recording under my ass, so who knows what I heard. True. All right. What's the next one? What kind of weird... It's the Sato data. What's that? Guess. <laughs> Fuck you. What is it? No, you're going to guess. If I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess um, it's when a continued consciousness gets to have an experience that's new to it, even though it's not. Okay. You understand the big reason why I fucking want to keep going is because I don't, I want to get to this fucking list and not just be a three and a half hour fucking podcast, right? Because I want to go to fucking bed. Maybe we started earlier. I'd be fine with that. I don't fucking want to have that. If that were really true, you'd just read what it is. The point of this we started off was for you to guess. Actually, the point of it was to go through the list. The point and then was I, I, guess. The guess before was an additional we, game the, before we wasted an hour and a half on a tirade that we, you apparently didn't even want us to have and because you value the saving of time so much. And before, but before we even started the list, I asked and you agreed to do this. That was what we decided. Sure. That was also before, apparently, that kind of shit led to... Weird long tangents that apparently are just a waste of time because we had wait we're wasting time. What? Sado there and just also from now on, if you actually want me to guess, give me a hint first because I have no context to go with with just a random syllable. Uh, Putting uh, a syllable before the word dairy gives me fucking nothing. So don't give me a fucking dairy. Just give me a character okay. and make me guess okay. what the description. I don't okay. care. Okay. I don't care about the game. There is no game. 
the game is the same with everything. You could you could literally say question mark daily every time. I just be like, uh, is it this? Uh, okay, no, that's unfair. It's I, fucking nothing. Okay, that it's is, not a game. Okay, that is unfair. I was giving you characters beforehand, mm-hmm. so I, give me the characters. Okay, so there's Kurumi Tosakadi from Data Live, Himiko Toga from My Hero Academia, and Juko. Which one's Toga? Um, blonde crazy bitch. Which I thought she was a Cinderella, but I guess not. No, why would she be a Cinderella? She's never hot and cold. Actually, that's true. Okay, that's fair. She's not even particularly antagonistic, really. Yeah, okay, you're right. Uh, um, and Junko... So I'm you know, guessing she... this is uh, fetishistic violence? I think so. Well, read it. <laughs> let me plug in my phone. I'll read it. I, let, me, let me plug in my phone. Wasting time. What is it? What? It's cord down here. Oh! <laughs> I thought that was music playing. I sat there. I was like, wait, what the fuck? Asado did it. <laughs> and I, Asado and Dede enjoys toying with uh, the feelings of their targeted loved ones and takes pleasure in the manipulated and their feelings and humili- uh, humiliating them. They are often violent and cruel to others while lacking the empathy to connect. Possibly their greatest pleasure of choice is willingly really inflict pain towards their loved ones. In contrast to a yandere who does it as a form of protection. A character who enjoys tormenting and humiliating themselves is a maso dere and their masochists who compliments the sado dere quite well. So it's sadism. Yeah. It's sadism and masochism. Yeah. Okay. Characters who demonstrate both characters are called asado masodere. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're sadomasochistic. So also this t- this time, don't pronounce it sado because it's actually using the Greek roots. It's just sadistic. I don't, I don't sadistic, I don't, not sadistic. I don't know what that's sad. I don't know how they it's, fucking it's, pronounce it probably. Could be. In this case, they're using Greek or Latin roots, whatever the fuck. They're they're absolutely the the correct pronunciation would be the less weeby pronunciation for this. Sure about that? Yes. <laughs> if we ran it through Google, I oh I I know if we run it through Google, it's gonna say the other thing. Guess what? I don't care. Its actual roots are in a different language, which means that the more accurate thing isn't necessarily the thing that's more said. Just like how in traditional English versus like in British English, in American English versus British English, there are a bunch of different pronunciations. Some of them are more objectively correctly true, and some of them should be absolutely different. If you've ever been to like a college campus like Oxford and they speak differently, it's because they're pronouncing things in an objectively correct way according to their roots and their suffixes, prefixes. The are roots we, of those words, typically. But are we in there are absolutely correct ways to do it, and they're not necessarily the ways that are most practiced. So, fuck you. Yes. The uh, you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to be... Sadistic or sado. I'm going to be... Mas- and masochistic or maso. I'm going to be 100%. I'm going to keep it a buck fifty with you, dog. Sado, I'm gonna keep it. I'm going to keep it a stack with you, dog. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> I'm then gonna, just read the description. I did! <laughs> I just okay. did. So, um, honestly, there's too much crossover with this and like the, the yonder or whatever. Yeah, is. yeah. I actually think that both fit most of the characters that were fan either. Honestly, yeah. There, true. there are some where the crossover isn't necessary, and the more specific definition might be useful, but. For the most part, they're going to cross over. Most of the ones we've discussed cross over here. Are you okay, Tom? I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. Then move on to the next one. Okay. I know you're gonna Wasting talk. time. I know you're going to talk to me. After Wasting our precious, precious time. So precious our time. To be wasted. Okay. Hiyaka Sudere. Which examples are given is Takagi for TZ Master Takagi-san, 
Ayase Nagatoro from Please Don't Pull Me Nagatoro and Hana Uzaki. So they're teases. Okay, yeah. cool. See, okay, so this is the one where I thought it was called Hayase John. This I was so off. I was so fucking wrong. Because I saw you pull it up, I'm like, that's not what, they, what I originally said. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up on the pronunciation on that. So what's it called? Um, uh, he, he, uh, he, he, Yeah. Uh, I like Sugimoto. Sugimomo. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. A character, who, a character who's teasing and often lighthearted and flirtatious is a Hayakasu Dede. They're often, they're often mischievous and playful on the outside, constantly te- <laughs> Fuck, just read your shit. I thought you were cramping the gun. That I was cramp- cramping again? I thought you were grabbing the gun. <laughs> you can't blame me for that one. <laughs> you can't blame me for that one. No! <laughs> After that. Also, I just realized this is going to get darker. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> How'd you do that? It's automatic. <laughs> yeah. Fucking damn it, was. Uh, sometimes these characters can display into tsundere uh, or kundere personality traits as well. Purposely Should I change the fact that it's been made darker? It just automatically does that at night. I can put the light back if we want to. Only because that might fuck with how the video looks. Yeah, but showing the progression of time. We have genuinely been at this for two hours, and people will be able to see the light get slightly dimmer and dimmer and dimmer over that time. Yeah, but they don't know what time it really is, though. It's 11.54 right now. How would you do that? <laughs> We've been at this for more than two hours. I know. So uh, that'll tell all of you where we're at. Also, I don't mean to be that guy, but... You, uh, you know what? To... That audio is already fucked, because it's been on the ground. Do you want me to turn the light back up or not? Um, Yay or nay? No, uh, I'm good. I'm good now. <laughs> so No. So no? No, no, you're good. Okay. That's why with the... We got the ring light anyways. No, yeah, it's, it's bright enough. The shadows will grow behind us. We'll grow more ominous as time goes on. This will work out. Also, I... Never mind. We'll move on. Um... Goru did it. Examples are... Icarus from Heaven's Lost Property, Toru from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maiden, and Albedo from Overlord. Which one's Toru? The... Is it the chibi one? No. Is it the main one? Yeah. I feel like we've already had the hyper energetic thing. What are the other characters in this category? Uh, Ikaros from Heaven Lost Property and Albeda from Overlord. Um. Uh, I, so I guess obsessed with the main character, but not in a violent way. No, no, fuck that. Albedo was fucking weird. And <laughs> Alba- Albedo gets violent with Hans. Um, Hans? Hans. Hans. Yeah. Like, there's, there's a moment of genuine threat there. Now, I think, I think they misplaced her. If this is just supposed to be, like, dedicated... And serving, this is not, this doesn't want, fit her. You want me to read it to you? Yeah. Egoru Dede is an overachieving character who sees their beloved as their master and will do and obtain anything for them. They have a highly idealized image of their significant other and will stop at nothing to please their partner. No matter what they think, they can lead to funny and sometimes disastrous situations involving the cast. An extension of the personality trait is an undere, who is basically the yes man to everything their partner orders them to do, no matter what consequences may come. Their strong devotion doesn't allow them to betray one to betray the so to betray the ones that closest to the Oh yeah, I wouldn't call her. I wouldn't call her an under. Um. Okay, I'm starting to think that dares are a useless category. <laughs> the main five popular ones are the only ones anyone ever adheres to. The rest are too complex because um, I don't think authors intended the other ones. I think this one's Wait. too hyper specific because Wait, wouldn't you argue that those z- traits work for those characters, but 
Those characters already belong to more popular categories. Wait, but when, when, wouldn't you say that's that's better if it's more complex? Like, isn't your whole no? Th- what, 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 I would say it's better if it's actually more complex, but it's not. Uh, okay. The problem is that they are fitting into two categories. That doesn't mean complexly. They are fitting into two categories because one category is really a subcategory of the other one. With some very minor exceptions. Would you say that the Goro Dere is basically a Yonder? Or... But I'd say... I, I'd no. S- which would... What do you think? It, what would you, where would you put the Goto there then in the big five? Or that one of the other ones. I don't fucking remember. What the what fuck are all other... called? I'm bad okay. with names. Well, there's the de- well, there's the dead dead de- who's just the, the which su- one's the super obsessed one that gets violent? Yandere. That's the one I said. But... No, not Yandere. The other one. What other one gets? What's the other really obsessed one? There's another really obsessed one. Um, fuck. You make me go back now. I think what the 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 fucking Sado did it. The one that likes to. Bully? They're type? No. Maybe it is Yandere. Maybe they're Yandere. I would say it was Yandere. No, they're Yandere. Yeah. Well, but the Goro Dere doesn't... No, they're Yandere. But they don't don't hurt the person. No, they hurt everyone else instead. Yeah, they're they're Yandere. They're hyper-violent, just not necessarily towards their person. Okay. Yeah. They're Yandere. They're a subcategory of Yandere that just expressly is not violent towards their person. Oh, well, I hate the fact that you said that. Why? As death is a yandere, you know no, it. No, she's a, um, I'm in, in this, no. She's a yandere, yeah. No, no Why not? She's a yandere. She's a yandere. She's a yandere. It's a yandere. No. no. It's a yandere. No. I didn't hear you fighting anything, so. No. When are we going to get to something interesting? Go. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot more than I thought there were. There's like seven more. That's not that many. We've already gone through like twice that many. Just go. That's go to the next one. Fine, fine. Um, Haji Dere. Examples are Kosaki Ono Dere from Nisekoi, Shio Sakura from Geka Soju, no, uh, Girls Monthly Nozaku, Nozaki Kun. Girls Monthly. Yeah. Is that the main girl? Yeah. Shit, I don't remember which anime that was. And Nana Ebin from Himoto Umaru Jan. You do need to go shit. Yeah. We're going to take a break because he does need to go shit. He's a lying son of a bitch. Isaiah, you're watching this in the future. You're a lying son of a bitch. You should have gone shit when I first told you to. This is every single time. With- uh, welcome back. <laughs> <sighs> welcome back to the Terrible People's Podcast. Oh my God. We're going to get so mad at that. <laughs> yeah, but your disgusting burp. Yeah, they yeah, are. What are they going to do right now? All right, now we are past midnight now, which is where that light fully turned off. Also, we should... Ooh. Oh, uh, stop. Okay, we need, uh, we, we need to not do that. Um, I need to close the store because your laundry is still going. I'm sorry. Fourth wing. Can you turn on the lights? Uh, oh, just don't blow it at my face. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I felt the wind. I'm oh, like, oh, the head. Oh, oh, Jesus. Those those McDonald's and Hogwarts. Okay, that's too bright. We're not having a full brightness. We're past midnight. We're turning it back on, but I don't know. What, what looks best in the video, I think? You got, like, I'm dim. A, you got a like, little star, a little fire. I like, in there. I, I like that brightness. <laughs> I like that big old brightness. You like that? Yeah. But that makes the video look ugly. All washed on that. I, I like the contrast of it being like about. At least I don't think you understand, but I'm very dark. <laughs> Oddly enough. Oh, uh, actually. Wait. You, you, <laughs> wait, 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 you see you less well in that light. Oh, no, yeah, you're right. <laughs> we lose your detail. No, you're right. So, okay. All right. So, middling, mid, mid up. Sure. There's some fire in that lantern. Lantern. Why'd you There's do? some fire in that lantern. Why'd you, con- why'd you convince me to do this? this is convince you to do what? Why, why didn't you stop me? This is hell alone. I didn't convince you to do shit. This is hell alone. I didn't convince you of anything. This was you. I want you to recognize and remember that. 
You know what? This is on you. I'm not, I'm not gonna this lie. This is on you, mate. I'm not, I'm this not, is on your head, not mine. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. We should have just ended the podcast with us being hella angry at each other. <laughs> oh, it's too late. Like, I, 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 bro, there's like seven more. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna, go through. And what's the next one in line? Right, we're gonna we're gonna blast the fuck through this. Okay. What's the first one? It's the it's the Haji Dere. That was the one that had uh, Anna Ebina Chia Sakura. What the fuck is it? Can you... Can you not? (laughs) Fucking fuck. Just... Don't do that. (laughs) Don't do that. Why? Stop. Just read, motherfucker. You can't touch me. What is it? I gave you characters. I don't know any of them. You didn't you watch Girls Mocking Us? Sure, time? I don't fucking remember character names. It's the main girl from Girls Mocking Us. This girl wanted the one where he's helping the dude make it something. Yeah, so he's, he's, uh, she's helping the dude help make uh-huh. the manga. So this is another assistant archetype. What? For someone who's really shy and nervous around the crust, the Haji Dere knows how to socialize with everyone else but them. They have trouble confessing to the one that they love and they often blush with fate at the sight of them making the first move. The Bo Dere, who is the combination of a Dan Dere and a Tsun Dere, acts similarly to the Haji Dere. The big difference is that they'll will lash out more aggressively towards their crush than they do. Did you follow any of that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Wait, what you? I see some smoke coming out of your ears. What you kicking up there? <laughs> yeah, you're you making a face like you're thinking. I feel like this is just like every rom com protagonist couple. This is like every every one of the like slice of life romances that are. They pussyfoot around actually proposing to each other for like ages and ages and ages and ages. It's kind of the whole plot plot half the time. I don't like them. To be fair. I don't like that shit. It's garbage. It's trash. Do you like anything? like lots of things. Like what? Things that make you cry? There's some things that make me cry that I like. Some things are just so stupid. They... Cry out of pure shame and but, humanity. But because you cried at it, doesn't make you like it so much. Like, because you like things that make you cry. You do realize that's not how that works, right? <clears throat> you, you would say that something that made you cry through pain, but sometimes you like pain, you would say. Would I? I feel like you've expressed to me that in some cases you would like pain. I don't think I've ever phrased it like that. Why are you talking? I don't think I've ever said I like pain. Can you talk to me like a normal person? Are you saying that people who speak differently than you are not normal people? No, I'm, that's not what I'm saying. I'm it saying, sounds like that's what you're saying. No, I'm not saying that people who talk to me who I'm not saying that people who talk differently than me are not normal. Uh-huh. I'm saying that British people are not. Normal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not speaking like a British person, and you know they'd be super mad if they ever heard that. Sound like a British person. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think you know the difference between the different uh, European accents, dude. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not even doing a good one, but it's not British. They sound British. It's most likely more Irish than British. They sound British. Not. Okay. You're racist. They're drunks. <laughs> I'm joking. I love you, Irish people. And your whiskey. <laughs> Anyways, how'd you do? How'd you did it? You have very. Um, you have one you like? There are some female protagonists for the romance comedies that I kind of like that do this shit. Despite doing this shit, I still like them anyways. Yeah. Trying to decide if there are any of them worth my time, though. I'm having difficulty thinking of one that I like. Um.
I got one. No, I don't. <laughs> Fuck, I am so mad I didn't think about that for Sundari. What? I do have a favorite Sundari. Who? Did I ever name a favorite Sundari, actually? Uh, I think you did. I just forget what it was. I think it was like a male, though. I think I don't think, I, no, I can't name males. The only one I've named male for is uh, the, the neon one. Because Felix. Uh, uh, I, know I think it was, this was one of the comeback twos. Swear. Because I named Rin as the most popular one, but I didn't have my own. I swear you. I have mine now. What? I did think of the one... I swear to God, if it's one. I swear to God, if it's from Ever for time, again. You can't call If it's what? You can't, you stop pulling from Avatar, bro. It's not from Avatar, okay. dude. All right. Come okay. on. Okay, what is it? This one's from a certain magical index slash a certain scientific rail gun. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, wow. I'm surprised you didn't bring her up before. Right? That's actually really surprising. I, told, but I knew there was one that I really wanted to do. That's like, you, that's that like one it. of your top favorites. Yeah. That's crazy. Right? I guess you don't like her as much as I thought you did, no? Yeah, well, I mean, she is a kid, so I don't really think of her sexually, so, yeah. Like, uh, un- unironically, yeah, okay. I don't, I don't okay. think of okay. her as all much right. as Hold a lot of the others because okay. I don't sexualize her in the same way. Okay, D- fair, but this isn't necessarily in terms of sexualization, we're just David the architect. No, but I, I typically don't think of... I just, I don't have a whole lot of reason to think of Railgun when she's not around. Listen, there are lots of other wipers on this list. I probably think of a lot when they're not around. You know what, fair. Okay. She's not one. She's a great character. I just don't think I'd like to think of her sexually like that. Okay. This next one is the Himadere slash Oji Dere says Kamidere. It's a three dere. Uh, they're all the same. They're just... Give me th- characters. Oh. Um... Erna Nakiri from Food Wars. Uh, Tamaki Soju from Oran High School. Wait, is, it, is that the main chick? In Food Wars? Mm, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't completed Food Wars yet. All right, continue the rest. Um, Tamaki Show from Oran High School Host Club. And Light Yamaki from, from Death Note. So this is the antagonist. Genius antagonist. Yeah, it is. Food Wars and L, I know, were genius antagonists. I think you might be right, yes. Yeah, let me read it. If you've seen the performance Hatsune Miko's World is Mine, then you're already familiar with the Himadere, the kind of character that thinks of themselves as a royal queen or princess mm-hmm. who is constantly condescending towards others. They have an intense sense of pride and, de- and demand people to attend to every one of their needs. The male equivalent of this trait is the Ojidere who sees himself as a prince or king of royalty. The Kamidere takes the narcissism to the extreme by viewing themselves as the perfect godlike being who demands subservient form... I don't think L fits into this category. Hold on. For people sometimes, however, the arrogance brings about their downfall. I don't think L fits in this category. Dude, there's... there's... L expresses genius and dominance and his acknowledgement of those things... But doesn't claim royalty or princeship. He claims no crown. And when he does, it's explicitly because he's doing something he doesn't normally do to get light to mess up. To, you do you to realize light. one of his big things is that I'll become the god of this new world, right? One of the things he does say consistently throughout the show That's is... light, not huh? L. You said L. No, I said light. Oh, I thought you said L. No, I said light. Like, this doesn't play well. Oh, oh, oh yeah, no, light. Oh, this word not play, yeah. Oh, light 100%. Oh, oh okay. I would, have, I would have had a different take. I thought you include L. No, light. no, light. No, light. Okay. Okay, I'm about to say, I'm like, um, I'm like what the fuck are you on about? That is not L. That is not light. Oh, then this is, yeah, this is just brats. Yeah. This, this is just narcissists, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that's what they say, yeah. Yeah, okay. And also, I guess they are different. I guess, um... Human Dead is the female one, OG Dead is the male one, and then Comedy Dead is just the super fucking intense one. 
like light would be the Kami Dede, which is the like oh it's a fucking god and mm-hmm. if you don't and he hit, did end up being the god of the world yeah but it also led to his downfall which is the well it's, you know did it he achieved godhood and he died at the end you know he's one of the gods of death right he didn't die where, he gained eternal life as a god where 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 was that where was that said where where was that established? What Dude. the fuck? No 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 no. Dude. No 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 no. Unless you you talk about some other shit I haven't read or seen before, like. Yeah, probably, no. but it's. Oh, dude. Oh yeah. Just. We'll cover this. We'll cover this some other time. Okay, I'm about to say because we'll like, make this a topic. Don't worry. Okay, fine. I'm about to say it's like I hope you know like they, they don't establish this in the anime. No. Okay. Uh... No. No. They do de- mm. no. Because they do de- mm. no, they don't. They don't establish it. You're right. Okay. Alright. There is a scene that may show it. I can maybe believe there's a scene that like There's a that- scene that possibly show I don't rem- I can't tell if I'm remembering this from an an outside source or if I'm remembering I'm not the gonna- scene from the anime, right? But what, there may be a scene, at what's the end the, what's the scene? that shows another na- unnamed god of death, and it's implied that that's light. What's well, it's implied in exterior sources that that's light. What's what what scene is this in the realm of death? There are only like three scenes in the realm of death in the entire show. It's the Dang. one at the very end. Do we? S- I don't think we see the realm in the, like in anywhere in that episode. Too. I might be associating this scene with things I've read elsewhere then. Okay. What how linear time is for God's death. I wonder what the chances are that No. Continue. Okay. Some other time. Alright. Uh the Hina Dede. Examples for this is uh, Hachiman Hikigaya from Arigaru, Sasuke Uchiha from Naruto, and Hotaru Oreki mm. from Hoi. Emo boys. Emos. We got the emos. We got the sassy little emo brat boys. I hate it. So much. The highly arrogant Hina Dere views the world through the cynical mm-hmm. eyes of their yep. cold-hearted... Yep. Uh, of their cold-hearted... Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish reading at the very least before you fucking make comments again? Okay. Through their cynical eyes and their cold-heartedness often makes them unpleasant to hang around with. Despite that, they do have a soft spot hidden away. It will only open up to the right person under the right circumstances. Shut up. Sassy emo boys. <sighs> Can't, what the fuck did I say? Like two hours ago. Honey, it was almost three hours ago. It sh- doesn't matter. Don't. Go continue. <laughs> continue. We're done with the sassy boys. No, I guess we need to name our favorites. Favorite sassy boy. <laughs> Favorite sassy emo boy. Accelerator. Try it again. Because I actually think he's a better um, enemy to lover. I don't remember no. remember that from earlier. No, I know that. I just yeah. he ends really? up being a prota- on the protagonist team. He ends up changing his values to work with and save and basically face from, his whole life. From what I remember, from what I remember, I think he he does like change his stance, but I don't think he like likes the main character. I think he still hates the main character, but he's it's like... It's not about liking the main character. It's about being on the main character's side, the side of good at the end. Well, no, it's the an antagonist that clearly turned good, and well, no, he the point, does have a begrudging respect for the main character. Well, no, the, the point we is that you... see that in the season two finale. Well, the point... Season three. But, no, the point no, of I that... I mean the season two finale for um, Magical Index. I don't remember the same thing. I think season three. And they go to Russia? The season three, dude. Oh. And yeah, season three yeah. finale. Okay, I was about to say, I was like, bro, that's, that was not season two. Why I remember that, I don't know. 
Uh, index is not... Uh, whatever. <laughs> um, uh, no, dude, though, but, like, a, part, a big part of that archetype is that you both side with them, but also, like, mm-hmm. you really like the character. He doesn't yep. like main character no, boy. So, but... Main character boy isn't the only main character. He does side with and love Mini Misaka. He focuses okay. his whole life okay, no, okay. around uh, dedicating uh, himself uh, to her. Okay, fine. She's she's a big enough character in the show where I'm willing to give you that. Fine. Fine. She's the second fine. main protagonist of that show. Fine. 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 <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I forgot about the Mini Misaka. When we were doing, at some point in the past, we did a tier list in which we did, like, the characters we wanted to, like, protect, like, that that archetype. Uh, and I totally sure remember the Mini Misica. Just the most adorable little thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. So, okay. For some reason, I was I was thinking of, like, just one of the normal girl calls. I'm like, why the fuck are you calling that one? But no, I forget there's in no, the, the smallest Accelerator... One. An actual mini Yeah, just, oh, yeah, I forgot the youngest one. Yeah. Okay, next one that we have is Nemoi Dede. Characters. Oh right, my bad, my bad. Uh, Tanaka from Tanaka is always uh, listless. I think it is Princess Silas. Listless. Yeah, Princess Silas from Sleepy Princess in the Demon Castle, mm-hmm. and Dorothy Unsworth from Black Clover. So this is the sloth archetype. Yeah. And then Mudere is someone who is always sluggish and sleepy. Mm. They like to get their fair share of shut eye and have to be motivated by the people to do so. The Darudere is a similarly lazy to do anything unless they're asked to by someone they really care about. These characters often show hidden sides of power that make them great allies. I genuinely don't know anybody that fits in this archetype. You haven't seen either of those shows? No. I know about, like, the princess sleeping one, and like, she just sleeps all day, but I, like, I just saw it, and I'm just like, I don't get it. <laughs> I just kind of skipped over it. I had her, it's like a cute show, but I was like... It's cute, it's okay. Um, I know, oh, well, I mean, you do know one that's just a villain and not a waifu. Who? Sloth! Literally. Oh, uh, okay, okay. All right, all right, fair, fair. Hell, you know what? You like Seven Deadly Sins. No, okay, hold on. You have two different okay, literal okay. sloths. Okay. You Have you watched Seven Deadly Sins? Yeah. Okay, so... I've seen you, enough. Okay, so you would know that's not the case at all. Kind of still is. No. Yeah, kind no, of the is. one who is sloth is, like, not... I know. That's not... Uh, that, that, no. He literally floats around with a pillow all the time, dude. That's not sloth! That's, like, that's... Is that not Sloth? No. Sloth is the femboy. Sloth is, like, the really femboy, like, hi, type of person. That's why I'm like, no, you don't get it. The, the things kind of don't make sense. <laughs> that's part of why I kind of got frustrated with the with it at the beginning. It's like, that show is so shit. Like, what, what that is... That show is so shit. What, what, hit, what is this thing? Like, it, it baffled me, too, because it, it makes sense when you see, sloth. like, when you see the pillow floating around, it does make sense. Especially Is it greed? No. Are you sure he's not greed? He's greed. No. Yeah. He's not greed. Mm. No. He is sloth, dude. He no. has a pillow. He carries around a pillow. No. What is, oh, my God. Where, what is his name? King. What is? Is King, King greed or sloth? No. He's sloth. Oh! He is sloth. He used to be fat. No, he is. Oh, he is the same as sloth. Oh, no, no you were right. He used to wait, be fat and he carries around a pillow. Wait, now. who's. What? The joke is that he used to be fat and sloth. I. And hold now on. He's skinny, but I he still know. Around a pillow. What is Gother? He's greed. Th- he's greed, dude. Gother? Gother. What the fuck is Gother Sin? Which one's Gother? Gay one. The gay looking one. Yeah, they all look gay, dude. That. (laughs) Is he the one in the red jacket that's antagonistic with, um, Billy? No, he's he's the the pink haired one. Oh. Pink haired one. 
What is your sin? Oh, you're that's sin of lust. Oh, that makes way more sense. Okay. Wait, then what's bond sin? Which blonde? No, not blonde, bond. That's bond sin? Bond is the red haired cop. Yeah, that's great. I think he might be pride. He's grade. Not he's great. Okay. No. <laughs> you're okay. I know. I just got I just not got it. I just not gonna I just not gonna <laughs> I just, I just not How is it I remember that show better than bro, you? Bro! I hate that Bro! Show. Don't ask me these, don't ask me these questions. Don't ask me these questions. Don't do this to me. I don't know. Alright. I got my... Moving on. I got my... Ooh, I oh got... Wait, what's my favorite sloth character? What's your favorite sloth character? King. <laughs> I didn't realize you were Crash. sloth. No, that's not true. Who's my There's a better character in that show. No, who's my who's my who's favorite? better character in that show? Who's my favorite soft character? Who's a better soft character in that show. Who? Pig. That would be gluttony. No, I mean the literal pig. Yeah, that would be gluttony. Is that gluttony? That would be. I don't think it. I don't think it's not one of the sins. It's no, just pig. No, the pig. I know the pig, but I'm saying like, if we're going to the pig is. Oh, slow. you're thinking the wrong pig. I think it's small pig. Oh, you're thinking about mama pig. Mama pig. Oh, yo. oh I'm thinking about mama pig. Okay, mama pig, mama pig dude. dude. Okay, mama pig. Okay. Fine. Like, she literally goes around and, like, takes a huge nap every time they move. No, you're right. Okay. And no. then, like, she gets out and she's the biggest, strongest thing. Okay, no, you're right. That's mama pig. No, who, who's a... Who's a better soft character? I'm trying to think. There's got to be one from, like, a shonen, right? The big, lazy guy who's just... Up with a super big hammer or something. I'm trying to think. It's just... I know a better one. Who? I'm trying to remember her name. Um Pink Hair Girl from um Slime. Her whole thing is that she's like bored and doesn't really want to do stuff and just goes ape shit. Right? I don't know who you're talking about. That is a good choice. Yeah. I'll go with her. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna say Sloth and Female Alchemist. <laughs> There's nothing to like about Sloth and Female Alchemist. It's the, it's the most two dimensional character in the entirety of Full Metal Alchemist. He's he's trying his best, man. No, he's not. That's his entire point. He's trying his best, man. He's not. That's he's literally the entire point of Sloth. He, he's trying his best. He's not. He's trying his best. He's literally not. He's trying, he's trying. He's just He's <laughs> literally not. He's just a baby boy. <laughs> he's just okay, a baby. move on. Yeah. What's the next one? We have the... <clears throat> you can to read it? You're not going to ask me that fucking question after you just did that to the camera, <laughs> to the audience. What? What's wrong with you? <laughs> just read it. Fuck is wrong. Fuck is wrong with you. <laughs> it's one in the morning. I say read it. Remember when you said you didn't even want this to go to 12.30? Well, fuck you. Read it. I wanted to stop. You wanted to keep going. We're three with hours me. in, Isaiah. We're not read doing, it. We're not doing a long one. Like read it. We got to put a cap on podcast. Read it. <laughs> All right. The kind of... The kind of... Dead, dead, dead. Oh, my bad. My bad. I keep forgetting. It's I'm tired. Um, examples are Fujiko Mine from Lupin the Third, Nami from One Piece, and Ami... Uh, Kawashima from Toradora. Who? Uh, the blue one? Blue hair chick? Mm. I don't know. I'm also blanking. <laughs> uh, competent side characters that are emotionally intelligent but don't get sex. That is not... Anyone who's a Kanadere is basically admitting they're a gold digger. They only care about someone based on their status and wealth, knowing anyone else unless they're able to take advantage of them. If they meet the right person, however, it's possible they'll learn to look past wealth and appreciate a person for who they really are. Gold digger, yeah. There ain't no good gold diggers, bro. Nope. Nope. Yes. Nope. Yes. Nope. Nami. Garbage tear. 
Are you saying, okay, are you denying that she's a kind of debtor, or are you just saying she's no, a bad I'm character? No, saying she's a bad character. Why the oh. fuck would I choose her as my number one kind of dairy? Why the fuck? Hell nah. There are better kind of dairies. Pick one. The chick from Great Pretender. Fuck you, I didn't even have to think on it. <laughs> Honestly, you can pick any chick from that and that makes sense. I'm going. No. It only works for two of the chicks in that, actually. Um, the dark skin one, I assume. Mm-hmm. And... And the other one's an antagonist, so we don't care about her. Who? She's from season two. Or arc two. The racing arc. The Oh. oh. Boy. The, the, the plane racing arc. Boy, I was uh, I was about <laughs> to end the podcast so fast and go home to watch. I'm, <laughs> to like, watch I'm, like, I'm like, I'm not going to lie. I was. I was like, no, that's like one of my shows I wish gets to see. Like, I'm like, no, we're ending the fucking podcast now. All right, now fuck you. <laughs> like, genuinely. Wait, have you not seen season two? No, you fucking with me. There's no season two. No, don't. <laughs> you, you, you know. I would be on that shit like a fucking fly. Don't you start. You know for a fact. I have that shit still, like, cute. <laughs> I keep track just to make sure. I hope one day. I hope one day. But I know where you're fucking never going to. So you haven't seen the trailer, then? No, you're fucking with me. You are genuinely fucking with me. Yeah, yeah. I know. Trust me, bro. No, I've been keeping track of seasonal content for the last two years now. I know what to... I may not watch it, but I at least know what the fuck is coming out for the most part. You're not going to get me on that. No. Fuck you. Bitch. What the? F- what? We're recording. You're not reading. Don't cargo. You're gross. You didn't tell me. Oh, no, you did. Um. <laughs> God damn it. It's, it's too late for us. Man. It's not the only good choice either. That one actually has a lot of good choices now that I think about it. What, Great Pretender? No, that archetype. Oh, that the archetype? Carrie, whatever dairy. Oh, the, the first Gold one. Digger. Yeah, the Gold Digger archetype. One, yeah. Because um, technically the main protagonist for uh, for Made in Abyss is that. The blonde girl? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, her whole thing is she she values more than anything going and making achievements to outdo her mother to find her mother, and she only sees her relationship with the robot boy as far as she can use him as a tool. At first, she doesn't even think of him as a person, really. She literally thinks of I'm him not, as a tool. I'm not, I'm not gonna argue. I'm not gonna argue. It's too late to argue. It's too late to argue. Well, she does. She, like, sticks, I, sticks up his ass and I, shit, I, I, trying <laughs> to find out how the robot works, because she doesn't care about him as a living thing. Okay, we can... We could table this discussion for a later time, but I'm just going to say that. That relationship I develops I feel like later in the depth. I feel like it's different because nope. there's not necess- the point of the kind of dairy uh-huh. is going after status yep. and wealth. Yeah. She's not. What's her main. She's not. Her necess- main driver is to get a white whistle status. I thought, I thought it was to get her mom. No. Her- no, that's the sad part. It's not about getting her mom. It's about achieving as much as her mom. I've, the finding her mom is almost like a secondary thing that she has okay, to do. That's, that's still an important aspect of it. Because but it's it not definitely... the main thing she professes. Everything, And you know, if you're thinking about these archetypes as three-dimensional things, you should be thinking that it's about a professed desire. Because, yeah. like no, I said, I'm it makes the... the exception for personal connection. No, that's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. She's too complicated for that. These characters are like characters that actually are just No, shallow. that's the thing. They're not. If you think about this archetype with any additional depth, it includes her because but they start off it at, fits. But they start off wanting something shallow. What she yeah. wants isn't like necessarily It shallow. is shallow. What's she what's literally, that? instead of valuing the life of peace and prosperity she has on the surface, her, she she lets her desire okay. to sacrifice her own okay. life okay. to endanger herself and others overvalue okay. Anything else in life. Okay, we have to take... We have to take she it. has friends oh, and oh, family. Oh. She does not care. Oh. <laughs> we have to, she cares about her status. Oh, we have to see all this. How so, deep she, can she Alex, go? How so, much can she Alex, explore? Alex. 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 I and have, move on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll table this. 
that I'll have a compromise with you. We'll just... Alex! <laughs> I was actually trying to talk to you this time, man. Come on! You were saying we're going to table the talk. <laughs> yeah, and, but I was also going to say we should at some point go back and watch one so we can do two so we can talk about the episode and then we can True. and then we can well, come we back to this do conversation. One, the movie that happened between them and oh, two. Oh, fuck. That's why we don't do the movie. Ah. Why? Okay, fine. Stop. Stop. Just because I stopped talking uh. for, like, for like a millisecond doesn't mean you can start to... <laughs> Put the drink down. What's the dream now, Cass? But you can't, you can't. No, that, no. Don't just swallow. Don't just swallow. Don't be weird. Don't have like a t- ice under your tongue. Or t- uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Stop. You're gross. You're not. I was actually keeping a pocket of it. <laughs> I'm, right I'm so. But glad. you made me laugh and it made me almost choke on it. Good. A little bit that came up my nose. Good. I'm glad. You're a fucking uh, man. Now, tell me what a, what a kick on daddy is. A what? <laughs> what a kick on daddy is. Okay, I thought I heard something else. I was like, that's inappropriate. You can't say that on the podcast. <laughs> what do you think I said? How do you spell Kike? Kike? Oh, what would you say? Kick on. Oh, okay, cool. What do you think I said? <laughs> I'm so glad you didn't say Kike. What's Let's a, continue. What's a, what is that? No, 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 no. I don't care what I'm saying. What, what is that? No, it's not appropriate. What? I have Derek in my mind. A splinter in my mind. What is it? What the fuck is a key game? What the fuck? You scared me. What the fuck is a key game? I didn't hear key game. I said key game is a mispronunciation of what I thought I heard. What you thought I heard? I thought you said... You know what? <laughs> I gotta make a, I gotta make a mental note of that. Cause now I have to censor that. Hold on. I, I told no, you that's, it's not appropriate for it. No, that's 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 my I fault. I told you. No, that's that. I told you it's not appropriate. Move on. I even gave you an altered pronunciation. No, I I admit full. I, I admit oh. I admit full wrong for that. Don't say it again. <laughs> Don't say it again. Why would you want me to say that? I, 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 my the curiosity got the <laughs> got the better of me then. What, what, what's, what, what is, what is the joy for? Um, Don't just aim for the three hour mark. No, I, I saw. I'm just, I'm just doing the hour and minute. I'm not doing the seconds. Because I'll, I'll have I'll I'll realize what it is by looking Probably at my three notes. Two, then. Yeah, by like looking three at my one. notes, looking at my notes and being like, "Hey, fucking dumbass!" Make sure the notes you spell it. <laughs> but I want if I say it's not part for the podcast, just skip it. You know, I should have been aware knowing that I had to fucking go through like three and a half hours of this. I like I I had to also put my, the notes. <laughs> at, at three hours and three minutes. Hey, dumbass, you made Alex say bad word. <laughs> fucking said to you, dumb shit. <laughs> I'm gonna look at it now. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> and I go there. I'm like, oh, right, right. Okay. <laughs> As long as you remember, you asked for it. I, I, I'm not gonna fight. I'm not gonna. I am not fighting you on that. All right, kick on daddy. What the? What, what is it? Oh, my example. <laughs> That's a good question. What is it? Um, huh? Yuzaki Tuzaka from Tony Combo over the moon for you. Bo Hancock from One Piece and Juvia Lockhart from Fairy Tail. Juvia Lockhart. Is that the blonde one? Juvia. Is that the blonde one? Oh, Lock, Lock Shear, sorry. Is that the blue one? Blue one. Blue one with water. So, hey, that's an enemy to love her. That yeah, is. Her. Apparently, this does that. Apparently, she's in this archetype. Um, so. Someone who has a question and on also, side character. And also, if he helps, um. 
You remember the anime, the Over the Moon? The one where the fucking couple get fucking married and shit? The kind of wholesome one? Mm-hmm. That's the main girl from that is in the circuit type. Someone with a blue hair? That's, no. That's the only comment I can is some blue straight hair? Are you still thinking of Juvia or are you thinking of... The water bubble? Well, that's from fa- that's from Tomato. I'm talking about... Yeah. I'm talking about Tiny Cowboy Over the Moon. Yeah, she had purple hair. You know that, right? Are we talking about Juvia or... Both of them! Yuz- they both have bluish hair! Yuz- or Yuzakai. Who? Yuzakai. Who the fuck is Yuzakai? I think she had purple hair. She does not. <laughs> I was like, I'm Does someone who has primary color hair? What? Does someone who has primary color hair? Yeah, it's Juvia. From Fairy Tale. Red and blue? Blue. Not this yeah, blue. and this one's red? Pink. So my, my guess is it's someone with primary colored hair. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, you're going to get far in one piece, so you don't know who Paul Hancock is. Okay, that makes sense, actually. Um, no, you're very far off. Um... Someone who believes in love at first sight and wants to get married right away is a kick on Dede. Their insistence on getting married stems from the deep desire to remain close to the person they meet, for better or for worse. They can be kind of creepy and determined to the point that they can also become Yadere's. The kick on Dede ultimately just wants someone special for the rest of their life and will eventually, and eventually they'll find the right one. So it's virgins. I'm not gonna lie, that was an inside response. <laughs> it's ever- that was kind of an inside response. No, it's actually it. They're the incels. Every time they see someone they fall in love so bad, they want to marry someone. That's that's you a pretty incel. You can believe in love at first sight. You can. I I think it's fine to believe in love at first sight. It just depends on what you do. With As that. someone who has developed very strong crushes on people at first sight, very often. No. I think it's important to understand that love at first sight is not possible. Lots of things at first sight are possible. Attraction. Oh, you just fucking doomer pills. Chemistry. Um You just fucking doomer pills, aren't you? Horniness. Um there's a lot that can happen at first sight. Love is not one of them. Fucking not in the way that you're talking about being in love with someone. And if it is, it's usually a sign of um, something wrong in your development or a complete lack of experience. Fucker. Doomer ass. Doomer ass fucking. Bitch. Call me black pill, just don't call me in, so. Sad. <laughs> Anyways, who's who's? Do you have a favorite kick on daddy? Mm. Favorite love at first sight. Huh? I feel like there's one. I'm just not remembering. I feel like there's one, I feel like there's like a really big one I'm missing where someone looks over at a character and literally goes, see her, I'm going to marry her. And then they do. They actually get married. Yeah. That's I over, think I like that one. Yeah. That's over the moon. No, I don't mean that. And no, not like that. You get sucked. I hate the one in Demon Slayer. Oh, Zenitsu? Yeah. That's... Yeah, that's a bad Piece one. Shit. No, that's a bad one. <laughs> that's that's not a good one. That's a very unhealthy and not okay one. <laughs> I'll try and think of it. Okay. Continue. 
All right, and we're at the final one. Fucking finally. Oh, it's not a big one, but I I remembered one I liked. Um, <clears throat> I think there's a show called Buddy Complex. Um, it's about two dudes who who take out these, or maybe it's called Heavy Object. Buddy Complex might be the time travel one. Um, Heavy Objects. I'm gonna go with that. <clears throat> and it's about two like regular soldier dudes who um, end up having a disproportionate effect on the battlefield um, in, like... like So, War in the Future is basically determined ahead of time by what are called heavy objects, which is just these super, super massive mechas or tanks or whatever. Like, just giant, massive things. And the whole meme is that, like, war doesn't really happen anymore because now everything is predetermined just on these things because they're so impossible to destroy. So whoever has the most is just winning whatever conflict is declared. Um, but these two, like, random soldier dudes take one out and then they keep doing it. They just keep, as regular soldier dudes, find ways to get rid of heavy objects um, or at least to help the character called the princess. And I don't think she's a real princess. I think that's just her, like, pilot nickname because she pilots the main heavy object. But one of the dudes fell in love with that 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 the princess right away, and they have a cute relationship. I like that one. Yep. I don't know. <laughs> I like that one. That one's cool. I like that one. It's pretty chill. Okay, the last one is a yota dere. These examples are kind of I'll. Alberona from Fairy Tale, Vanessa, and Otaka from Black Clover, uh, and Noko, Ariyabaki from Yua and the Haunted Hot Springs. I don't remember any of those names. I'm not gonna lie, there was a bigger example they could have used for this. I don't know why they didn't. But what is the bigger example? I'm not telling you. That I'm giving you the examples that they gave me. <laughs> Well, in this case, I have no information to go off of, so I'm going to go on uh, Childhood Friends. Okay, go. Yeah. A Yodare likes their booze a little too much. They can get very angry or interval when they drunk or simply go oh, off. Dude, they're corner. way better. Yeah, that, I, that's what I was saying. It's like, why'd y'all pick fuck? this? So why'd y'all dude, pick these three? Teacher from uh, Railgun. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't like my answer. What? I seen that day. She's like the most famous one. I feel I can I can like think of. Why would you choose Sonata? She's like the most famous like Yoda Dare. Is she? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You don't think? I think there's a another Naruto character. It's pretty famous for boozing. How he acts when he's boozing. Gets to be a better fighter when he's boozing. That was one time. And yet. That's. That is not a Yoda Dari. yet. That's not a Yoda Dari. I actually think it is. It's a Yoda Dari who acknowledges their addiction. They only do it once. Like, ever. And he does it when he's like 12. As far as you know. We need a fight. No. I can promise you that's the one. Actually, no, I take that back. Twice, because Guy finds out Rock can apparently do this. And he only uses it once in battle. And he doesn't even win that battle, because Gara still has to come to save him from that battle. And he only technically survives because the dude's lifespan ends up dying. I'm just saying. That doesn't count. I'm not counting that, because he only uses it once, and he sucks with it. Okay, he doesn't suck with it, but he doesn't win the fight with it. I'm just saying. I'm not counting that. I'm just going with ladies not a. I'm just saying. No. I still like my pick, my first pick better, but whatever. Your first pick is good. Yeah. I'm, I'm not saying that there aren't picks I enjoy more, but she is the most popular pick. Is she your pick? I mean, other than the girl from Index, I can't. The teacher from Index, I can't fucking. There are plenty of others. 
I'm trying to think who else would be Yoda Dabe. Oh, you haven't seen even Yoda the Knights. I mean, there still are plenty of others, but... In fact, there are tons of them in basically all of the 90s slash early 2000s mature themed ones. That's what I'm trying Trigun's to think. Trigun's got them. That's what I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of someone's like... Cowboy some... Bebop's got them. Dude, Black Lagoon... Like every character in Black Goku can be described like that. Okay. I will say this. Not somebody who just does get drunk. Someone who their whole character is getting drunk. Or part of, like mm-hmm. a big part of that character. That's why Lady Sky mm-hmm. is the big part of her. Because she sure. is known as mm-hmm. the drunkard. Mm-hmm. Or like the drunk Hokage. Sure. So just because someone does get drunk. Well, or does no. Drink. She's not known as the drunk Hokage. Okay, okay, okay that's she right. She didn't drink when she was Hokage. Yes, she did. We only not n- no not in the same way, and you know it. She did. She did drink as Hokage. Not in the same way, and you know it. She did drink as Hokage. Not in the same way. Literally, no more than any other Hokage. She did not do it any more uh, proportion, disproportionate amount than anyone else. I think she did. I think she did. I don't think she did. I think she did. I don't think she did. I think she did. When? I know there's a moment she's hanging out Jiraiya. I know Naruto sees her one time drunk and it's all the shit. Her assistant comes in one time trying to get her and I'm pretty sure that... I'm pretty sure two of those events are actually the same episode. I mean, it's the same event. Maybe, potentially. I don't know. I've been watching Naruto for like 10 fucks for... Mm -hmm. Ow! Years. I just watched. I don't believe you. You should remember when I watched it, because we talked about it when I was watching it. I don't believe you. Also, that was Boruto. No, I mean Naruto. The first series, Naruto. I wasn't going to take your opinion. Did you ha- you skipped Shippuden. <laughs> didn't skip Shippuden. I haven't seen it yet. You skipped Shippuden. Oh my god. Fucking move on. Move on! Ah! We're done. God. Oh, thank God, we're done. Yeah, and uh, that's the podcast. I'm oh. sorry. This is long. I'm very tired. It is almost. It's three one a.m. in the morning. Hours it's three and hours. Minutes and the shit. so I mean, thank that you. includes the breaks. I mean, yeah, that includes the breaks. And we'll probably the breaks will probably cut it down to like somewhere around like under two hours. But at the same time, I don't care. Thank you for watching. Thank you for it, the. It the won't cut thank down you for watching. Thank you for. We can cut down to two hours and thirty minutes. Dude, we took like maybe ten minutes of breaks total. We'll see. So, thank you all so much for, for, for joining the podcast. We'll come back. We're all uploading either today or to Tuesday or Thursday, but we'll come back with two episodes a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but this week we'll just do one because we started late. Stop doing that. Then, you, you I gotta, I gotta prove. I gotta prove again. On that note, have a good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>